<laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's me, Joseph. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh oh. <laughs> uh, I went to go uh, put together my breakfast, and when I came back, Pumpkin Cowboy was over. Fuck. All right, give me a sec. I'm feeling the Joel hat today. I'm feeling the Joel hat today. Oh, real quick. Let's let's get over to the big screen. The big screen. All right, folks. We're staying hydrated today. Let's go. Bada bing. That's why they call me the Chugalugan. <sighs> chugged at the speed of a sickly kitten. That's how fast I can chug, chat. It's not about the speed. It's about the content of the chug. Wait. You are the chug woat. He's a little baby puppy. Thanks so much. I had just eaten a mint, so it hurt to drink, but I still took a big swig because I'm all about that water gang life. Very true, Siberian. 100% correct. Oh, man. We just have, like, so much unimportant shit to do today. Um, but I'm going to begin with some pretty important shit. Uh, sorry, folks. You ain't getting that fucking Sunday stream. <laughs> I, I was... Um, really not looking forward to doing it because uh it was kind of a rough situation all around but um thank 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 you all uh for your generosity um this person i know it looks like they didn't reach their goal but that's because that's how gofundme works they did reach their fifty thousand dollar or fifty thousand pound rather goal um so they're gonna be uh they're gonna be running it i believe the remaining that uh, was wrong <laughs> amount of money would be covering uh, personal travel and I think like extra money while they're there, um, which otherwise they'll, will just come out of their savings. I, it's nice to know that sometimes people can uh, can 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 get can get it done. <laughs> it's nice to know that sometimes. And you know what? I gotta. I I hate to give them credit. Thanks. Thank you very much, Progressi, for for putting it in the. Uh, in the description that was uh that was nice uh but who what an what an awful situation all around um thankfully i'm sure it will be the last awful situation any of us ever have to live through or deal with but you know um that's not all that's going on today we also have some really important freaks we have some really important twitter freaks if you know what i'm saying uh first up this comes from at using cigarettes. Great page, by the way. Am I the asshole for telling my girlfriend to get the fuck out of my apartment and that she's disgusting? That's a good question. I, I think this is going to have to be the new, uh, the new council. Um, I, it legitimately is. I, what do you think chat? I mean, we don't really know too much about the, uh, the situation, uh, but I think it's really important for us to weigh in on it. Um, do we think that he's the asshole? I sorry, I should I should be clear here. I don't actually know if it's a if it's a man or a woman making this post, but actually, um, I'm I'm pretty sure that I do know. <laughs> oh man, not not good. Um, was it the girlfriend who smells like poop? Oh, if you're a a poop girlfriend uh, truther. I have a, uh, I have great news. I mean, we go over it on the most recent episode of Will of the Council that will be going up momentarily, and by that I mean on Thursday, and by that I mean on Friday. Um, but poop girlfriend and the girlfriend, uh, the girlfriend did break up with poop girlfriend, and then decided, you know what? Actually, I I think I am not going to break up with you and put a letter in her mailbox that was like hey just so you know i broke up with you because you smell like poop 
And so uh, the the girl, this is this is something you can only do if you're a girl dating a girl, by the way. This is the like, it, it's behavior uh, that only works with that dynamic. Um, the girl was like, no, I understand. I'll do what I can to work on it. Let's let's give it another go. And they're giving it another go. Not to be not to be like homophobic or anything. But if a man broke up with a woman and then left a note in her mailbox that said, sorry, we broke up. It was because you smell like shit. I think that man should rightfully be given the death penalty, right? But, but it works. It works if it's, if it's two girls. Um, <laughs> lesbophobia at 10 a.m. Get a job. <laughs> Rebecca. I've been doing this shit since 8.30. All right, next up. The tech industry has some of the sharpest minds in the world. Someone decided to steal one of our wonderful paintings from an office filled with technology companies. Think we didn't have cameras? Does anyone know who this is? All right. Uh, now, I know what you're thinking. Let's, let's source this woman. Let's see how how they have how they have used their technological skills to uh, recover the identity of this individual. I rotated and enhanced the image slightly in case it helps. No, I one I don't think it did, and two, I rotated the image in case it helps. No, I'm pretty sure anyone could have... I, I don't... You know what's weird is, one, anyone could have rotated, and two, I actually think it was easier to see them in the original picture. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, this is me, by the way. This is literally me. All right. Next up. Uh... <laughs> This is an incredible, incredible TikTok. Now, I want you all, I want you all to, if you can, follow along with this TikTok. Ready? I've never believed that I was disturbed or brilliant until this moment. What does this emoji look like to you? I've never believed that I was disturbed or brilliant until this moment. What does this emoji look like to you? Japan. Right? It's like clearly Japan. Oh, I'm fucking crazy. The emote is Japan, right? Upon first glance, okay? Like, not what it looks like big. Just what does that look like to you when you first looked at it? What popped into your little head? This is... Japan. This could be studied. Did you... I guess you could study Japan. I mean... Say the smoke plume from when the Challenger exploded? Because if you did it, I invite you to compare the two. No, I didn't. No, that was not me. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> Rebecca. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking this. No, 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 no. Wow. No. No, 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 no. I honestly like this one's crazy because like what would he I love conspiracy TikTok. Rebecca, like work with me here. What would the conspiracy even be? That Japan modeled their nation off of the Challenger explosion? Like, what? What the fuck? <laughs> that the Challenger exploded in the shape of Japan for some reason? Like, <laughs> it's like fucking Sherlock episode one scratching Japan into the floorboards? Who did this to you? Like, I get that it's a map. It's a map of a random island. Or a random island! Japan! Maybe it's an island people know. I don't know. Maybe it's an island people know! Japan! No, but my brain saw that, went weird. Why is there an emoji of the Challenger exploding? I mean, okay, to her credit, if you see the Challenger exploding, I would be asking that question. First, I was like, what the hell is wrong with me? And then I looked at it and I was like, wait a sec. Nothing's wrong with me. No, no, I'm going to push back just a little bit on that one, buddy. That I'm I don't actually think that part of this is true. I <laughs> think then <laughs> I can just identify I can identify a famous disaster. 
Do you know do you know how how far gone you have to be to be like actually there's nothing wrong with me. I just see the challenger explosion and everything. <laughs> that was wrong. I love that laugh. Give me that laugh one more time. Identify a famous disaster. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> honestly Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Oh man, I saw this last night and I was like, this is great. I fucking love I love the world. I love the world. It it just it works so well. All right. This next one That was wrong. <laughs> what does this remind you of? Hmm, definitely not a troll four. I would have to say. Oh man, it reminds me of shit. I would say Chernobyl. And if you see a plane emoji, you know, maybe some people are familiar with uh, uh, planes. All right. We got to talk about this despite the fact that I know nothing about it. In fact, that could probably be the tagline for this entire channel. But uh, we got to talk about the fucking... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Y'all heard about this shit? <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, this post comes from Niji Sanji Ian Official. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Niji Sanji, it is a, a VTube representation company. Uh, it, it's really strange to me, um, because I don't even understand. I, listen, okay, not get Leah on the horn. Uh, I'm sure Le Leah, by the way, I have heard so many of Leah's opinions on this because I'm friends with Danny. That's, <laughs> and she's yapping at him <laughs> and he's like, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. And then he'll text me and he'll be like, dude, you're not going to believe what's going on with Niji Sanji. And I'm like, I bet I won't actually. I legitimately don't think so. <laughs> if you get a fact wrong in this chat, if you get a fact wrong in this, chat will dox you. I got you. Anyway, the short of it, for those of you who are completely unfamiliar with the concept of VTubers, is that you would think that VTubing logically follows from uh, streamers that don't want to show their face, right? <clears throat> and that they'd be managed the same way like team solo mid brand ambassadors are. But it actually evolved from like fucking idol culture in Japan so uh, they're managed in the same way that slaves are. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so uh, Niji Sanji is one of the uh, official, you know, um, VTubing organizations, and it's a big one. Uh, but they they have really been in hot water uh, recently uh, because uh, of a lot of things. Uh, and I asked someone to explain this to me, so I'm just going to read out that explanation to you. Okay, so they dismissed an English streamer uh, without any prior notice with a big statement talking about how the streamer was, like, bad. Uh, despite the fact they also previously were saying that the streamer was being bullied, which she said she was on an account that wasn't associated with this organization. Um, and then later... They said, actually, us dismissing this streamer will result in a negligible impact on our company, uh, you know, to assuage the fears of stockholders, despite the fact that the streamer was, like, one of the biggest English streamers with this organization. Uh, then they didn't say shit for, like, a couple of days. Uh, but, <laughs> and by the way, this is not legal advice, but if you are a C-class uh individual who is looking for a way to resolve like a huge issue with your company you need to do this okay again not legal advice but it has to be done this way for a multitude of reasons i really i really can't i really can't get into right now but they forced three of their current streaming talents <laughs> to hop on a youtube video <laughs> And read out confidential data from a legal case brought against them by the dismissed streamer. Now, <laughs> imagine for a second, imagine 
there's been a contract dispute between, let's just say, I don't know, uh, fucking, uh, what, what, what are like some signed streamers these days? There aren't really talent organizations the way there are in the past. Let's say Kriparian is in a contract dispute with Team Liquid or something. And Team Liquid goes, oh, you think Kriparian is, is uh, blameless? Watch this. And then, lo and behold, up comes a YouTube video where Trump Starcraft has a piece of paper in front of him and goes, uh, okay, um, so just so you all know, um, uh, Crip is cringe, uh, he, he's washed, uh, and he's bad. Thank you so much. And that it went up on YouTube. <laughs> The Quimby for this is going to go hard. It's going to go real good. And th these words are my own. <laughs> oh, man. Also, they did it with just a black screen. Yeah, I'm going to pull up the video real quick because it is it is unbelievably funny. Uh, I'm not going to be able to fucking type this correctly. There we go. No, where is it? No, where is it? Oh, here it is. A message from Niji Sanji Ian. Hi everyone. Hello. Um, to preface, we have discussed with any color staff and our legal team. I never ever wanted to make this video. <sighs> Folks, let me talk to you about the concept of breach of contract. <laughs> I, I love the black screen. It's just, it really drives home. <laughs> it's, it's a hostage crisis. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, but you may have noticed earlier I referred to them reading out what I was what wrong. was told to me to be confidential legal information. Um, but... My The person who has sent me a recap of this says, Afterwards, they made a statement that what was said in this video is not confidential legal data. It's just data that they got from lawyers. And in order to determine if they had violated like an NDA or anything, they conducted an in-house investigation and found uh, that they had not done anything wrong. Which is just great. It's so good. I... <laughs> and finally, this culminated in the CEO of this organization um, releasing a statement uh, to do more damage control, which is, of course, uh, what you see here, which is <laughs> just just incredible. Uh, all I have to say is um, th there's a fucking reader's note on here. Come on. Oh, man. This... The CEO also made a video. No. Come on. No. <laughs> All right, lead with the deep bow. Come back up. Hello, I'm Rick Tazumi, CEO of Anycolor Inc. No. I'm making this video to speak directly to you. Okay, a number of things going on, first and foremost. First, do not do that. <laughs> I hope that they consulted with legal staff first. Not to, I'm not trying to gas up lawyers at every opportunity, but this is a situation where, like, when people are like, what are lawyers good for? This, this right here, res like, resolving this conflict without doing, like, 18 drama posts. Uh, second, um, any color? This is their logo? It's got no colors in it. The fans of Nissan GEN and everyone who supports the VTuber industry. First of all, I deeply apologize for causing concern to many people. Please allow me this time to address your concerns. First, <laughs> let Cut. me apologize Wait, for- Wait, by the way, that, this, is a, this is a killer transition. Watch this. Um, it's a cut, but they, did, they do a crossfade. Why do they do a crossfade? Let's check it out. To address your concerns. First, <laughs> let me apologize for a misunderstanding caused by the notice published on our investor relations page on February 7th. It's a fucking stockholder update! <laughs> Don't post this like, hey, to our fans, 
we just want to talk about the changes to our investor relations page on February 7th. Just send it to stockholders! Holy fuck. After announcing the termination of Seren's contract, we received questions from investors regarding the impact this would have on company performance. The notice was published to respond to investors. In the notice, we unfortunately used the expression negligible to describe performance impact. <laughs> Our wording lacked consideration for the situation. <laughs> Man, this rocks. This is so good. Oh. Unfortunately, we said that the streamer was fucking worthless. And while we stand by that statement, <laughs> uh, this rocks, dude. Let's see the comments. Uh, for everyone wondering, that's this is what I'm wondering. Thank you. Like ratio is 11 to 38. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> uh. Can y'all please hire another PR team? This is insane. Oh my god. I frequently I frequently um tell people um especially YouTubers that when they get involved in controversy, if they're very large, it is a really bad idea to try and solve it yourself. Um just look at how the um um <laughs> the vouch shit is going. <laughs> Uh, but th this is a grim reminder that sometimes you can hire an organization to resolve these PR disasters for you and still come up insanely short. Um, the trick to preventing that from happening is to not do evil shit. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh. Rough. Oh. Less said the better. I don't even think that's the case. I think there are times when like being forthcoming is, is extremely important. Um, but you should definitely get everyone on board with your story before you're forthcoming. All right. Just to box out sort of legal challenges to my own person. I do want to say I'm operating with, uh, you know, basically I'm Chinese room experimenting this shit. Re like describing what someone else has told me. Um, is happening, but to my understanding, it really does comport with the uh, with the facts here. What an awful fucking week for uh, for fans of VTubing, including um, all of my good friends who are VTubers. As you know, I am not racist. Um, <clears throat> Next up, so uh, this is um. It, you, you all know uh, Christy Yamaguchi Main, the uh, the account, made two tweets a week ago, and one was, what's the best tweet of all time and what's the worst tweet of all time? And they both took, and so people have been posting both. So I want to I wanna draw some attention to some of the best tweets of all time. They're just, I'm just having a lot of fun with them. Um, here's what we got. First up, female manipulator. If I died and it was your fault, you'd be so sad, right? Me, not paying attention with a mouthful of chips. Tom and Jerry get into so many situations on this show. Tom is holding a very big hammer. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Another one. Text a homie named Big Gulp. You make every day of my life better than the next. I feel like I have known you for a thousand lifetimes. Text to wife. Make sure the bathroom door is open when I got home. I'm going to come in sprinting. <laughs> this is me and Danny and Jillian. Uh, uh, this one was good too. What the fuck am I going to go to therapy for? Just so I can pay money for some bitch to tell me I'm gay, to find out I'm gay and in the closet, to help me discover that deep down I'm a gay ass homosexual man. LMAO pass. Miss me with that shit. I'm straight. I am straight. That's, uh, <laughs> what do you mean? That's you. And then this one was good, too. Jigsaw wouldn't scare me either, because I'll just die. That's fine. I'm not doing your little pranks. <laughs> this is a good one. Uh, these were fun. It's, sometimes it's nice when one of these uh, tweets goes off that's like, what's a good thing you've seen on Twitter? And we get to enjoy it. 
All right, I'm so glad, Rebecca, that you showed me this one. And if anyone has the Ice Spice Satanic Movements video, I would appreciate that as well. But I think it's time that we start talking about one of the most important things in the world, and that's how many sports-type individuals are, in fact, not the GOAT and are, in fact, um, a little more in tune with the Black GOAT. I'm talking about Satan. In fact, it's important for us to understand that almost every major celebrity and... Uh, sports <laughs> player is in fact a devil worshiping demon designed to distract us from what's really important uh bitcoin uh so let's just if, if you need proof of that here is lebron james admitting to satanic beliefs on camera and then performing a series of satanic hand motions lebron james scream if you love satan <laughs> <laughs> the back half of this one is incredible. I don't know if you all have, have seen this before, but this is its own video that I saw posted unironically. Freemasonry hand sign. 666, he does this. Sign of the devil. Baphomet chest release. He's fucking hyping himself up by praying to Satan. Exulfation, dark magic, and then he's spreading the energy around. And I like for this one, they couldn't really find an image, so they just posted an image of like sand in a in hands. Oh, do we have it? Good, we do have it. Right by Taylor Swift, her friend rapper Ice Spice is throwing her loyalty to Satan, just as Taylor's done in her concerts. Okay, first and foremost, she's wearing a cross, right? I mean, I don't wanna be like, that <laughs> What's she doing this? Camera gets on her and she starts like Oh my god. I knew it. I knew that everyone I don't like is Satan. I knew it. I knew it. Oh fucking hell. There was a CJ post that I, I I saw, and it really... Sometimes you, you see a post online, and it shocks you like... um Like a breath of cold water, you know? You just go, oh, that is crazy. It's, it's a CJ Blue Sky post, and I think it's this one right here. I got really sad thinking about how a genuinely sizable chunk of America's political discourse is predicated on the fact that people think demons are real. We're expected to debate and take an ideology based on monsters as a serious political standpoint. You post this and I go, oh shit, you're completely right. Yeah, like 70% of the stupid shit that we talk about politically is just being like, well, I mean, we don't want the, we don't want the boogeyman to get us folks. And you know, my, I got to be honest, my opponent has no plan for dealing with the boogeyman. It's it's crazy, right? Oh, man. It is, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't want to get into it. Even if you are Christian, it's so fucking funny to think of Satan as this, like, insanely powerful mega doo-doo demon uh, who could fuck you up at any given opportunity. Like that, yep, that's, that's biblical Satan. Super powerful. If I know one thing about Satan, it's that he is strong. <laughs> it's unreal. It's, oh my God. Or maybe he's just like pathetically weak and that's why he needs emissaries on earth like LeBron James. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> what about Super Satan? Oh, that's if he goes Super Satan 3. Look, man, I'm just saying, if everyone blamed the Demiurge instead, it'd be fine. That's true. That's true. What's the difference between believing that demons are real and believing that God is real? Uh, well, you know, not to get all Reddit atheist, but like, yeah, it's uh, it's probably insane. <laughs> It's probably the same, but I guess, I guess the, the big difference is like, you know, most of the stuff that, that you're asked to do by God is like, love each other. And, and most of the, like, we have to stop Satan stuff is like, 
Listen, Satan wins unless we pass the Bush tax cuts. <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh. All right. This one's good, actually. <laughs> Thanks, Flork. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do have Flork blocked for blue check reasons. Absolutely no. No, I, I don't make exceptions here. Wait, what the fuck? Flork has a an additional check mark for a gamer subs partnership. <sighs> Don't meet your heroes, folks. <sighs> get that bag, baby. He can get that bag all he's got him. He can get that bag off me. I once saw a guy with eight check marks for what? <laughs> he had like the North Korean military uh, banners. <laughs> Shit. This is a G Fuel channel. Fuck gamer subs. I don't give a fuck if you all are invested in the Leah Asimov, uh, Daniel Guadalupe. Uh, who else is, is a supper? Fucking. I don't, I don't give a fuck about any of those people. Here on this channel, we stand www.gfuel.com exclamation mark affiliates, I think, in the chat to get discounts anywhere that I have a partnership, including a 20% discount on any orders of G Fuel. You read that right. One fifth of the G Fuel off. And let me tell you something about G Fuel. I'm going to go to gfuel.com right now. Let's look at the let's look at the top three. We have the Persona Three tie-in flavor, Cadenza, Sonic the Hedgehog's Peach Rings. Seems like Mario should be Peach Rings, right? The fucking the the Chucky G Fuel flavor. The there's a PewDiePie G Fuel flavor. All right, don't buy that one. Uh, we have. Naruto G Fuel flavor. Let's go to Gamer Subs and let's just let's just go to Gamer Subs together and we'll we'll just stop as soon as we find one flavor that sounds like it was written by someone currently wearing an Ahigao hoodie, okay? Uh we have this is Gamer Soups, all right? That's funny. Uh, okay, so here we have some some sexy ladies. We actually have not seen a single flavor yet. What's going on here? All right, good. I like good. I, I do. I mean, I, I like things that are good. And uh, the very third one, blowhole blast. All right, let's keep going. Anime girl thigh. Brand risk. Grandpa's ashes. They even have ones for the people who are watching like Meme channels in 2024. Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. Folks, if you're going to get a gamer energy drink in your mail, you're going to want to get one that is not going to make the mailman look at the product and go, It's crazy. The, the number one thing I'm ask, I'm thinking when I'm looking at these is, is there a way I can get them in the fleshlight style discreet packaging? Like, can you send this in an unmarked Amazon box like the Super Sucker 9000 so that my neighbors don't know what kind of person I am? Blowhole Blast is so good. I don't care if it's good. I don't care if it's good at all. These could These could be fucking Ambrosia for all I care. I am not drinking Gamer Girl Fart 9 million. It's not happening. <laughs> it could be it could be the elixir of life. They could brew this shit in the fountain of youth. I'm not sucking down Anime Girl Fart 9000. Marco Polo if he made it. <laughs> if he found the fountain of youth and there was a sign above it that said Little Sister Anime Girl Farts he would turn back. He would say, actually, death is a gift. It's the reward for a life well lived. 
and Temptation Refuse. Joshua Schmidt Yu-Gi-Oh! Thank you so much. <laughs> Josh, I just... Uh, I feel like every time you raid me, I'm doing the stupidest thing that anyone can be doing. Um, and I thank you for that. I, it, you know... I, you know what? Now that Josh is here, uh, we're gonna go back to the 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 very fun tweet here, and then we're going to um we're gonna we're gonna do some Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I uh, the the Josh host is always the like get the show that on the road wrong. type scenario. Josh hosts, and I go ah fuck right. I I'm supposed to do Yu-Gi-Oh. I can't just be scrolling Twitter all day. Let's watch this one together, Josh viewers, and I need you to give me your genuine thoughts about this, okay? I've never believed that I was disturbed or brilliant until this moment. What does this emoji look like to you? Pawn what does this emoji look like to you, Josh viewers? Josh viewers, what does this emoji look like to you? Japan? What are you, some kind of fucking moron? What are you, an idiot? What are you, an imbecile? Man, you are lucky it's not 500 AD because we would put you in a sanitarium tomorrow. Japan. Wrong. First glance, okay? Like, not what it looks like big. Just what does that look like to you when you first looked at it? What popped into your little head? This is... What popped this in your head? This could be studied. Did you... Just, just to be honest, to be honest. What popped in your head when you saw this? Say the smoke plume from when the Challenger exploded because... Did you say the smoke plume from when the Challenger exploded? Be honest. Did you say the smoke plume from when the challenger exploded? Yeah, someone in here did say that, yeah. If you did it, I invite you to compare the two. Compare them. Like, I get that it's a map. It's I get it's a map. I understand it's a map. The map of a random island. It's a map of a random island, Japan. It's the map of a random island, Japan. Or maybe it's an island people know. I maybe it's an island people know. I don't know. But what I do know is the challenger explosion, by heart, it's seared into my memory. I don't know, but... My brain saw that, that went weird. Why is there an emoji of the challenger exploding? At first I was like... Yeah, I mean, I, I, I said this earlier, but like, that's a pretty reasonable reaction if you think that it's the challenger exploding is to be like, oh, yeah, that's strange. Like, what the hell is wrong Spence, with me? And then I thank you for the uh, like, sub. Nothing's wrong with me. I can just... I Nothing's wrong with me. Very true. Very identify. True. I can identify a famous disaster. This is how everyone is nowadays, by the way. Not to dissuade you from coming to America, Joshua Schmidt, and your viewers, uh, but if any of you want to come to America, every single woman is like this, and every single man is an up-and-coming SoundCloud rapper. That's what the nation is like. <laughs> oh, man. And we fought, we fought hard to be this way. <laughs> oh, for those of you that don't know the Challenger... Ex oh, I, I didn't realize Joshua Schmidt's audience is primarily European, so let's watch the Challenger explosion. So many of you are probably unfamiliar with this because I think your backwards nation doesn't know how to go to space. Um, but in 1986, seconds, uh, the United uh, States uh, threw a space shuttle up. We do this all the time. And uh, what happened? But, uh, you know, space shuttle going normal. Um, uh, you know, it's going normal as a space shuttle does. And... Uh, then, uh, any time here? Yeah. Oh, there it goes. That's right. The whole fucking thing blew up. This was like the biggest disaster in human history before 9-11. But it didn't really do the same thing as 9-11, right? Because, like, who are we supposed to get mad at? Aliens, right? What, are we going to invade Mars for oil? There's none there. We checked. So, I gotta say, one, it looks like Japan. And two, um... This was, I mean, this was like the number one disaster in America for like a century. It's crazy. <laughs> it's like, God. <clears throat> um, I don't know about you all. Obviously, okay, so I, I imagine everyone here is like a millennial. What was the big, uh, like, national disaster when you were growing up? It's 9-11, obviously. But do you all remember Columbia? I, I feel like the Columbia explosion was a huge deal too, but I feel like why didn't it why didn't it cause as big an impact as the Challenger explosion? The what? What do you mean the what? Oh my god! Yeah, space shuttle Columbia. Yeah, this was this was a big fucking deal too. I remember um. We were, like, watching this in class. 
Although I will say, because the Challenger disaster was such a big deal, when it exploded, um, no one in the class was like, oh no, they were basically like, ah, well, that's the risk you run. There's like a 10% chance it'll explode, right? Yeah, this one was rough. rough. I remember the the big, uh, the reason we were watching it in class was they sent a teacher up. They were like, we're going to send a teacher up because teachers are important. First one, the teacher goes up and, you know, uh, that was rough. They were... Uh, I mean, I think you all probably know this story, but you all know that Big Bird was supposed to be on it, right? No? Oh, good. I'm so glad I get to show you this. Oh, it's Challenger, actually. Big Bird nearly rode on the disastrous Challenger mission. <laughs> the puppeteer of the yellow suit was in talks to go to space. Instead of just if it wasn't for a historical fluke, someone else may have been lost that day. Big Bird, a beloved carrier character from Instead Sesame of just Street. Asking, oh my God! How stop. can we treat Leo? Fifteen ads here may seem like an unlikely passenger on a space-bound mission, but the puppeteer inside the fellow feathered suit was invited to join the Challenger mission in order to encourage kids to get interested in space. Taking civilians to space on the space shuttle was thought was a chance to get the general public excited about space travel. In the early 80s, we developed a space flight participation program for that to launch ordinary civilians into space, including journalists, teachers, and celebrities. Spinney never applied for the program, but was reached out by uh, NASA with a proposal to send him into space. Uh, it's not clear what sank Big Bird's chances at civilian space flight. Spinney maintains it was the puppet's eight foot two stance. <laughs> oh, man. And then, unfortunately, the fucking thing exploded and Big Bird lived another day. I think we should all we should all be asking the real question. What did he know? You got you to gotta kind of think to yourself, right? You're Big Bird. It's 1982. You're offered one of the most prestigious things in modern memory, a chance to go to space, a place where so few people have been. And you go, no. You know what? Put me on the next one. Put me on the next one. And now... Big Bird's on Twitter, talking about how he's small. How interesting. How interesting. <laughs> I mean, it's it's insane, of course, but you have to you have to understand, Joshua Schmidt viewers. Every American's brain works like this. This is how every American thinks. <laughs> they're like, they're like. Was Big Bird in on 9-11? You know, we have to we have to wonder. Uh okay, let's do Yu-Gi-Oh! I know, I know. Scatter, scatter. You know, I sometimes I just think that people I I don't find it particularly watchable personally, but sometimes I think people show up to the stream just to listen to me yap. It's strange. Yapping as a concept doesn't make sense to me because like all these zoomers are like, "Bro, he is yapping." That's how zoomers talk to me with a falsetto because they're all children. Um but they're always like, "Bro, he is yapping." And I'm like, "What what do you mean he's yapping? Yapping is one of life's sweetest joys." Do you understand how many people have been killed in this nation for yapping? Do you understand that the Constitution gives you a First Amendment right to yap? Oh. All right, where are the TCG and OCG ones? <laughs> what is blood waffling about? That one's great. Hearing a bunch of, listen, I'm going to say it, crackers, hopping in to say, what is blood waffling about? Of course, I, I'm, I'm one of those people, so. Does someone have the link to the TCG OCG stuff? Do I got to do everything myself here? I'm not using, listen, I'm not using it racially. You all know what I mean by that, right? Individuals who would play the card Synchro Cracker. Come on. 
I guess I am. Uh, that was wrong. All articles. What is CDP, by the way? They, they keep uploading CDP things. What is CDP? Cock, dick, penis? I mean, what's going on here? Thank you, first person to do this. Um, wow, there is nothing. What? Oh, my God. Uh, I'm making peanuts this week, boys. Peanuts this week. <laughs> no, we can ring eight minutes out of this. New card, Pog Champ. New card, Pog Champ. Let's be honest. This this isn't really about new cards anymore. It's about two things. Firstly, the news updates for a week of Yu-Gi-Oh. I should just make a daily dose of Yu-Gi-Oh channel. And secondly, uh, it's about getting to eight minutes so Rebecca can afford food for the week. <laughs> oh, good. We do have one that we didn't react to. Okay. So first and foremost, let's talk about the most important shit in the universe that's right new funko pop let's go <laughs> i love the Yu-Gi-Oh funko pops my brother got me um the karibo one and i was like daniel you know that i'm i don't really like funko pops right and he was like yeah the reason i got you this funko pop is because it's karibo and it, it is hilarious to me that the funko pops that signature dead-eyed bullshit in fact, is just how Karibo looks. And I have the Funko Pop. It just looks like a vinyl of Karibo. <laughs> All of the design elements that make Funkos Funkos are already present in Karibo. It's so funny. Um, none of the others are even remotely kind. <laughs> but maybe that will change with Harpy's Pet Dragon. I, listen, I gotta say, are we that down bad for characters? We did DM, DMG. We did all the anime characters. We did Blue Eyes, Red Eyes. I mean, surely there's got to be other things we can make before the Harpy's Pet Dragon Funko Pop, right? Who's out here going, oh, thank God, the Harpy's Pet Dragon Funko Pop. I feel the Harpy Funko Pop would sell better. You could put it in a jar. This is just, no, this is a no for me. Next up, Rarity Collection 2 updates. Well, 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 I've been a very outspoken critic of Rarity Collection 2. I loved Rarity Collection 1, maybe my favorite set of all time, and when they announced Rarity Collection 2, I was ecstatic until I read the presser and realized that it's just a cynical capitalization on the only good product that's been released in months. Rarity Collection 2 seems to be shaping up to be a massive disappointment that will sell like hotcakes because, regrettably, it still probably will be fun to open. Let's see what we've got. Now, I was assured that that first presser that included like five total cards, three of which costed money, that was just the beginning. And they would be revealing that there's tons of extremely valuable cards found in here to permanently bring down the price of this unaffordable game. Let's just see what's been announced. Floof up your pearly deck with seven different rarities of my friend Pearly and pearly pretty memory. So this is insane, right? This is unbelievable. There is a pearly spell that doesn't have a good rarity, but it's not either of these ones. And oh joy, we can finally play pearly in a pretty rarity now that it's no longer good. Oh boy, great, fantastic. Polish up your trap selection with a trifecta of Solemn Judgment, Solemn Warning, and Solemn Strike. Three more bangers, sir. Okay, Solemn Judgment, getting a chase rarity is always funny to me because, I mean, I'll just throw up TCG Player right now. Solemn Judgment, I think, has more chase rarities than any other card ever printed. I Legitimately, I don't think there is another card with this many funny printings. We have the ulti. We have the, the, the ghost. Uh, we have the, there is a uh, maximum gold version. Um, we have 18 different secrets. We have the Dusa Foiling Super. Uh, we have the Lost Art that has the halos on it. Like, we, I think we even have a black rarity, right? From like one of the battle, yeah, here, one of the battle packs has it. Yeah, Battle Pack Epic Dawn with the black rarity. It's just like, how it, it has not one, not two, but three different gold foiling prints. 
Like, how many times are we going to print this fucking card in a new rarity? It's, it's already in every rarity. But they're like, no, we got to give it seven more. Um, warning is very funny because, like, Judgment and Strike theoretically could be played. There are scenarios where Strike is playable. There are scenarios where Judgment is playable. And Judgment is very playable in old formats where it'll be cool to have Chase Rarity cards for cheap. Who Who's getting, who's getting hard about Warning? Warning is not playable in any sort of capacity. And the only format where it's good is Tangu Plant, which... <laughs> I will say, this is... For, for Tangu Plant Duelist, this is quite nice. But, like, Tangu Plant Duelist, come on. Collect new versions of popular spells that go in all sorts of decks. From Book of Moon, don't need it. We already have the Plat Rare. Book of Eclipse to Prep Rites and e Telly. Thank God. The e Telly reprint. That's a card we need another reprint of. And don't miss this one-time chance at a QCR Rare Gold Sarcophagus. Fine. Cards you'd expect, like DD Crow. Cards you might not, like Soravis, the Ancient and Ascended. Too many cards to list here. Oh, do try. When we're throwing up prep rights, I think I think maybe it's going to be a little disappointing. Yeah, this set is going to be fun to open. I want to be completely honest with you. It's going to be fun to open, and that's why they made it twice as expensive to open. It will have twice as many cards, but they're like, no, -uh, you're not getting that dopamine unless you double down, baby. Um, it's going to be fun to open. Uh, but I don't want to hear from people that it's an important step in reducing the price of the game. That is clearly not the goal of this set. And I, I, I don't know how much more obvious you can make that than we're reprinting fucking Soravis after the fucking rare print. Ugh. Hyrospace, you are correct. It is very telling that they have announced zero intention of reprinting diviner in here that's like the windmill slam reprint right where is diviner what card would make it worth it to you diviner dia bell star wanted sp little knight bonfire <laughs> populace <laughs> i mean it's good <laughs> It's coming out in, like, July. They're, these cards are going to have been out for, like, four months. Chaos Angel. Lopter. <laughs> Come on, Dyer. We're not doing Lopter. Lopter is 20 Lopter. Lopter will probably be in here. $20 Ultra? Lopter? No. Reprint the card that came out yesterday. When is this coming out? Never mind. Next up. OTS Pack Reprints. Who's excited for this OTS pack? <laughs> oh, wait. This resolves the problem I had about no good uh, rarity for sleepy memory. Let's go. This is, by the way, this is your Chaos Angel reprint. This is where you're getting it. It's right here. All right, next up. Our one new card. Soul Exchange. Why are we doing this? Is, is there a reason we have stopped printing functional upgrades to existing cards and started just printing those cards a second time? What? <laughs> the Reborn one was already was weird. Wrong. But this one is like, who's getting their dick hard about Soul Exchange? Oh my god. The Soul Exchange second print? All right, let's, let's read the text of Spell Card Soul <laughs> Exchange. Now, keep in mind, this is going to compete not only with Soul Exchange, but with the eight cards that also do this. Crossed Souls, if your opponent has a big board and you want to summon a god card. Stormforth, if you want to play a good one. Flew on to Reason wins, if you want to win. Normal Spell Card. Okay, so the, the upside to the Reborn was that it was a quick play. Immediately after this effect resolves, tribute a monster, and if you do, it cannot be tributed this that turn. That was wrong. When you do, you can tribute a monster your opponent controls, even though you do not control them. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, activate this effect. Your opponent can apply this card's first effect. Well... I don't get it. 
<laughs> it's like written to be worse than Soul Exchange, but in every conceivable scenario, it's going to be better. But like, who cares? Listen. This is ass. I know a lot of people are looking at this and they're like, oh, it's removal that doesn't, you know, it doesn't target, it tributes. It's, it's, if this effect was good, people would be playing Stormforth, I would say. Um, but this is, you can tribute two to three. Okay, this is better than Stormforth for exactly players of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's Lava Golem in cash. Oh. Hold on. That was wrong. That's not a bad use case. All right. Maybe this will be played in the sideboard in cash. I'd be happy to see it. I don't think it will, but it theoretically could. And then finally, <laughs> the Legend of Duelist Promotion Packs. Uh, I missed this one. Uh, we have Legendary Dueling Field. A field of battle for those who believe in the decks that they built. Those who never turn their backs on any foes. I'm always turning my back on foes. I'm going to be honest. Those brave enough to fight with the very end. To wage rights deciding winners and losers. It is said... That when they unite their hearts with the hearts of their cards through bonds and take a step forward by swearing on their pride and souls, they can cut open the road, continuing on to the as of yet unfinished future. And Big Inflate Dragon. <sighs> Inflates you big and round. Uh, super hot blooded ultimate baseball home run king. And the legend of tickets. Uh, this is the uh, the Japanese localization of uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Um, you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Target a card in your graveyard at the end phase of this turn. Uh, place that card on top of the deck. Draw two cards for your normal draw wrong. during your draw phase. Um, awful, of course. Time dimension hole. Shuffle your deck, then excavate the top card of your deck. If the excavated card is a monster, special summon it. Otherwise, if you can't special summon it, put it on the top or the bottom. A hole that does something weird. Uh, Kanan. This is funny. It's like super funny for them to uh, release Kanan. As part of Tokyo Dome. Because wasn't she part of Tokyo Dome last time? Alex and I are doing History of OCG right now. And it, it's so funny that like. Kanan is theoretically better than Celtic Guardian. But costs $1400. Uh, Excite Ground Dragon. This guy gets excited when he sees a ground type Pokemon. Uh, we have Lead Pigeon. Uh, we have Dream Live. And we have Cheater's Hidden Ball Trick. That's uh, what I be doing before women find my third testicle. I don't know. I'm just fucking riffing at this point. Uh, these are cute. They're fun. They're interesting. Um, but I think the the big takeaway is that they named a card Big Inflate Dragon. <laughs> uh, that's it. That's all the Yu-Gi-Oh! news for this week. Is what I'd say if I wasn't about to talk about Battles of Legend Chapter 1. Now, Battles of Legend Chapter 1 is a product I can't I can't believe exists. It is truly the most who asked of anything I've ever seen. So if any of you are familiar, um, Battles of Legend uh, used to be a uh, pack series uh, where they would release a bunch of, of fucking silly cards um, at premium rarity. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest here. I thought the Battles of Legend sets were pretty cool. What's the, like, the the uh, Crystal Beast one that just happened recently? Um, that was really fun to open. 
Uh, I think these are like a good inclusion into Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, but it's weird that they're doing this. So, um, on the heels of Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1, they've taken all the good cards from the first, I think, like, three or four Battles of Legend packs and uh, put them in here. And I, I really can't... impart to you that this is not important like of the stuff in here the cards that I think we still needed were um Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord was randomly super expensive um The Astral Language Utopia, it's annoying that they reprinted. Gimmick Puppet Nightmare was really expensive. The Ubells were creeping up in cost, but I just sort of assumed that they would be reprinted in like an OTS or something at Common. Um, and uh, I think, what is it? Uh, Minerva was like $20. But other than that, it's like, oh, cool. Water of Life. Gold Moon Coin, Gingerbread House, Vision Hero, Gravito, Sonic Stun, Elemental Hero, Neos Knight, Cyber Larva. It's just weird. I, I like the concept of reprint sets, and I think that they're really important. Um, and one of the best things about Yu-Gi-Oh! is their super aggressive reprint policy. But I really would have liked to have seen just a more targeted series of reprints. Um, it, it seems like they had about 15 bangers, and then were like, oh shit, we have to fill out a 100-card set. What else are we putting in here? And... I don't know. I I mean, I could have told you 20 other cards you could have put in here. Uh, how do you think Limited will be for this set? Unbelievable. And I do like some people saying this is for Edison. Let me be clear. This is not for Edison. Like, there's like five total cards in here that are legal in Edison. Um... It's for, like, like the Big Eye reprint, you could argue, is for, like, Time time Wizard Dragon Ruler players, but, ugh. Ab-Zero? How many times has Ab-Zero been reprinted? Makes Hero playable in Common Charity? You know the weirdest part? It doesn't, actually. Because they needed Ferris. <laughs> it was super expensive. When I last looked at Ab Zero, it was like a $6 card. Which is like more than other stuff. $7. I guess that's a good candidate for a reprint. I just don't think the whole set needed to exist. That's current price. Check price history. Uh, looks like it's been $15 in the past. Let's let's go to um, what like last year. Yeah. Twelve, thirteen dollars. Yeah. The other thing is like structuring the pack in this way just doesn't really make logistical sense, right? 
because the older the Battles of Legend set is, the less likely that it's going to include cards that need to be reprinted, right? So, like, we can't get cards like Magician Souls from the Magical Hero one that probably need a reprint. It's confirmed for RC2. Yeah, but, like, if you're reprinting the powerful cards from the Battles of Legend set, not in the Battle of Legend reprint set, then what is the point of having the Battles of Legend reprint set? They could have thrown these 15 cards in fucking Rarity Collection too. I think people would have maybe even preferred that than having to open a set that has, like, Chronomaly Tuspa Rocket in it. Magical Hero is actually a legendary duelist set, not a Battles of Legend set. There's just no way. <laughs> they got too many sets, dog. No, no, no. This is Battles of Legend, not to be confused with Brothers of Legend, not to be confused with legendary duelists. And we can only reprint the ones from the Battles of Legends set in this set that we've made arbitrary rules for. No, wait. E says that Souls was in a Battles of Legends set. <laughs> I fucking hate this game. <laughs> oh, man. The Nibiru... What? No, Souls was in a Brothers of Legend set. <laughs> fucking... I'm Googling it. We're just looking up Magician Souls right now. Is This card is still so expensive. Legendary Duel... No, you're right! Brothers of Legend! <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> I don't know. The fact that the player base in chat right now... I know people are going to be like, MBT's chat is stupid, so obviously they don't know. But the fact that the player base is in chat right now and is unable to discern what set these came out in, in what condition, and to what end, probably means that sets with these arbitrary restrictions are just a stupid fucking concept anyway i talked a lot of shit on rc2 but at least rc2 is just like what's in this one fun cards that's it how much were the u bells before the reprint i'm gonna look that up too all right these are the secrets i want i want the lowest rarity what the fuck? Raw yellow mega pack. Oh my god. It's not even that far up. I mean, it's crazy, of course. But it was already 10 bucks. What the fuck? Wow. That's uh, insane. That was <laughs> wrong. Yubel, the loving defender forever. No, she's not. Yubel's evil. What's the German name? What is the German name? What Das Weiker? <laughs> das Ewig Liebe Wachter.
Let's watch this. Okay, this is about where I expected it to settle. 30k one day ago. Will there be a bonfire in here? They got to have hey, Farf on a Welcome fucking to leash or something. I can't reveal. believe he this agreed to do this. This is like <laughs> of legend. Battles of legend. I've got an entire display here of eight boxes total. This is Battles of Legend Chapter 1 featuring some of the MVPs and best cards being reprinted across all of the Battles of Legend series. Each box includes a secret, six ultras, and 30 commons with one of these dice here. We've got Stratos, we've got Cyber Dragon, Almirage, and Big Eye. I believe there might also be a promo. I didn't know that there was going to be a chance of a Stratos dice. Hold up. Full card in here, so let's uh, dive in and uh, see what we can pull. I finally managed to get this. Be real, you'd have done this in a heartbeat after last month? What happened last month? Opened up here. Let's uh, take a look here after breaking the seal. We've got our first uh, promo card. Yep, there it is. You became uh, it broken. Is the dark armed dragon. <laughs> that is taxes, of yeah. In that beautiful secret rarity. Looking good. Submitted the taxes this and week, by the way. That we won this time Legitimately, I am just Stratos. out of money. As you can see here with that beautiful Konami, if you want to give me $5,000, I will get people to buy this dog so shit ass set. These, and you'll be able to uh, get the entire set from the Battles of Legends series. And I had to edit this on Jordan's couch while I was over in Scotland because it was due on very, Monday. Very Holy very shit. What our oh, Vlad, also you're here. One, is, um, here. We have got I haven't read, a actually. Vision Fusion. Lila, that's a good little Time Wizard reprint there. Uh, Twilight Ninja Yogan. Dual Tainings good with you today. Wolf. Kite Drake. Minimum Ray. Solar Recharge. Sage with Eyes of Blue and Thanks. Ultra Rare. We've got a Cyber Dragon as well. Okay, quick quick caveat on Cyber Dragon. I am currently, I'm putting together my Tengu plant list and I'm boarding Cyber Dragons. And I am, I'm doing some really epic shit in my Tengu plant list. I'm playing the worst rarity of every individual card. I've got like the, the gold rare Trish, the gold rare Reborn, the maximum gold rare. Um, Sidra, I had to make a choice on, all right? So I had to choose, do I want to play... The Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1 DT Foiling Dog Shit Sidra. Or do I want to play the Structure Deck Black Rare Zane Truesdale Alt Art Sidra? And I went with the latter, and it is like... <laughs> it is the cheapest, fakest looking card I've ever seen. You need Plat Rares in that deck? I wish I was dead. I believe I have nine Plat Rares in this deck. <laughs> It's like, I, I'm trying to talk myself into not, like, to playing all the cards that come plat. Like, I want to play, like, um, uh, Fissure and uh, Bottomless, and I have, like, three slots, and I'm like, I should play, like, 2-1. And I'm like, but if I play 3-0, oh, that's three plats. I mean, Bottomless doesn't even come plat. A lot of Ultra Rares in here. Dolgoran, that's a nice little... Uh, How many are there? I'm trying to think. There. That's pretty uh, cool. I have... Uh, Dark Spell Prison, Plats, I think I'm playing two. Uh, Dreadmark, Dreadmark I have Common, Call of the Haunted, Plats, Dark Hole, Plat, and we've got an Element Rota, Plat, Next pack Book, here, Plat, we've got Miracle Contact, Valor's, Dust Plat, Kupia, in the board. Satellite Cannon, so, I need this three, card. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> Plats. This my regional tomorrow. Okay, I'm this Leaking the here. sauce? Uh, yeah, Vision, dog, Fusion, I'm playing uh, uh, Effect now Valor now in Tengu Plant. That's crazy, right? A dangerous, what could that be? common reprint for TR Element Strongest. And Elemental Hero Stratos in the alternative rarity. Uh, that's really, really cool. And Is it? I feel like I would probably say it's something else. Exiton Knight. That's a good reprint as well. All right, nice. Uh, Sage with Eyes of Blue, Elemental Hero Neos, Sahaya, Hibernation How Dragon, many Maxi? Dread Decimator. You know what's crazy? Is the Maxi? Maxi's very good in Tango Plant. But it's not... You know, it's not an auto-include. You have to make a decision about it. Pain Gainer. Bahamut, a Heart Earth Chaos Dragon, and the Cyber Emergency also in a common rarity there for Drytron Duelists. Well, it says Cyber, so, you know, let's prioritize Cyber Dragon. All right, and we've got our promo is uh, Cyber Slash Harpy Lady in Secret Rare. That you know, if he was able to reference, like, any of his other work, it would be really cool for him to be like, that's the card that Doug keeps beating us with. Oh, wait, Doug doesn't have it. Fuck me. Looks Never mind. Gorgeous. And our dice is... is this the that card was expensive. I'm not going to lie. Big that one did need a reprint. Indeed. Let's go. We got Big Eye is such a weird concept for a dice. It's not like an iconic loved monster. Like, it's iconic insofar as it gets summoned a lot. But it's not like, oh, Big Eye, that's Yu-Gi-Oh, baby. And let's be honest, it looks like uh, a penis going in a vagina, right? It looks like... Whoop, whoop. 
It's strange. Grande ojo. Um, hopefully, I should be able to collect the entire set for myself here. All right, pack number one. Let's take a look here. Deep no, it looks like the challenger. <laughs> it looks DDG like Japan. Reprint. Very useful for labyrinth players. Uh, minimum ray. Neos nine. Look at him talking combat. about how cool the floodgates are. Another satellite cannon and Orgoth the Relentless. That's a last card standing card right there. It is. Orgoth wow. The Relentless. That is true. And Jizukuru and Ultra. He rare. didn't call it Jizzy Cummy. Boral Sword Dragon. Look at that. Boral Sword Dragon in the. Uh, <laughs> Look at that. Ultra rare. In the Yoko rarity. Ono rarity. Uh, all right. Oh! I didn't want to see Cyber Eltonin in this fucking rarity. Don't show me that. Come on. Cyber Eltonin. Steam Synchron, Kalantosa, Escarado, Fusion Destiny. Ah! That FD is nice. not a common dog. Common. Uh, Sahaya, Hibernation Dragon, and Skull, Skull, Skull Geos, Skull Geos. Sk yeah, yep. All right, in pack number two. Common Charity FD. Ooh, maybe I will play Common Nova Charity. Master, one of the first Fusion Monsters I ever owned randomly. <laughs> I hopped into the Common uh, Charity Bellis, Discord, and I was like, Raider, hey, maybe I should play one of y'all's tournaments. And then I was like, uh, every Kaiju single Slumber person in here hates me, I think. Apparition, Gaia, the because I hate Harper commoners. Common. And As you all know, I fucking Ubel hate poor people. For the new, uh, <laughs> That's the MBT support. motto. MBT, uh, I hate poor people. Yubel, Lionheart. Oh, good. No, Lionheart. Rank one. And Perfumer. All right, that's our uh, that's our ultras. Got Decimator, Pain Gainer, Hero Lives in Common, Behemoth, Chaos Surf Dragon. Ah! Dog! I don't want to see this. Dragonic Diagram <laughs> in Common. Even Farf is weirded <laughs> out by this. This is like fucking ugh. Ooh, it's like looking at a fucking um live leak video this that is was hard wrong. to watch i to see this in here <laughs> all right a common dragonic diagram will it be returning at three is that let a poor people have common shit one of the best parts of Yu-Gi-Oh is you can be dirt fucking poor and your deck can be pimped the fuck out like you could play a bunch of secrets that got reprinted to one shit these days, like, it's great mix it up with the master duel limitations but yeah common diagram here that's really funny next display here we've got common another dia l ice. unlucky for me trying to get all of the rarities together okay and Double Stratos, I suppose. Our promo is... Oh! Zero! That's a good-looking card. Oh, that's so good for Time Wizard. Oh, let's go. Okay, this guy's been needing a reprint for a while, so... Uh, I'm going to be honest. The 45 Ultra Ab Zeros, they look pretty bad. Ab Zero is a card that doesn't look like... He doesn't look good in Ultra. It's just like a very dirty, undignified foiling in, in my... Um, in my... You know, in my estimation. Many of the commoners in chat won't know what I'm talking about, but this looks better. Zero, getting uh, its Battles of Legend love. That's really good. Okay, nice. All right, let's uh, crack open our first pack here. Let's see what goofy ultras we Oh, good. We've Cactus got. Bouncer. Got a Bouncer. <laughs> Is that a fucking guy. dual taining reference? <laughs> Living Fossil Common. That's great. Galaxy Soldier in Common. That's really useful. Garrow, the jump promo does Twilight not look Indicadian, great, sadly. Yeah, it really doesn't. It's weird. Wonder ah. Driver. Boral Guard the Dragon. Boral Sword the Dragon. All right, we've got the Boral Gang here. Dreadnoid, Kalantosa, Black Whirlwind, uh, Chris Crack Dawn, Utopia, Ancient Cloak Common, Valeria Font, and a Cross Crusader. <sighs> they had an opportunity to upcycle the fucking Cross Crusader. They didn't take it. The hero deck looks so good, except for the rare Cross Crusader. Looking through this other pack here in the box, we've got a... I might Lila still get Harpy the Conductor, common. Just... Water of I, Life. What the fuck is that card? I've never even seen it. Water of Life Yu-Gi-Oh. What is this? If you control no monsters, target a monster in your graveyard, special summon that target in attack position. For the rest of the turn, after this card resolves, you can't activate monster effects except the effects that special summon monster on the field. I've never seen this card, but apparently it came out in Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. If Rudder Strix, Celestia, Vion Common, Kite Drake, Final Fortress Cannon, and our Ultras are Perfumer. Uh, the, <laughs> uh, 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 no, no, the uh, I love it. The, he's, he's like, he's trying not to get mad about Kite it. Drake, Final they were like, Farfa, now if you open a card you don't like, you can't say, fuck this gay ass card, bitch. Fortress Cannon, and our Ultras are Perfumer. He's trying uh, real. Here, ready? Watch his face. Uh, oh, no, no, the gimmick puppet. Okay. 
Oh, okay, the gimmick puppet. Yes, yes. Uh, yep, gimmick puppet replit and uh, Kabongas. Okay, so it looks like we might have the... Konami's going to get me and Danny and Gage on a black screen, and we're going to be like, <sighs> I never wanted to make this video. Farfa has, unfortunately, engaged in a pattern of contract breach, which requires us, his friends, to speak out against his continued behavior. The entire kite. And then Danny is going to show up. He's going to be doing like the lolly voice and he's going to be like, as colleagues of Farfa. Do line up in an ultra reprint. That's pretty cool. Uh, Fossil Warrior, Skullbone, Junk Anchor. You know, every time I see Junk Anchor, I think this is a very modern card. It came I out in like 2012. Driver. <laughs> Another diagram, Dreadnoid, and a Fog Blade. Or should I say Pog Blade? All right, cool. I, should, <laughs> should I, I say you know Pog Blade? Got him! Riffin! Very good card to draw. I always see it in my opening hand. Far, far versus <laughs> Boxes. Name another iconic duel. Sorry, that took me way too long to open up. Ah! <laughs> He's fucking hurting it. Whoa, what, whoa, what's wrong with his hand? Whoa, is the ink bleeding on his hands? Another iconic duel. Sorry, that took me way too long to open up. Ah! I've got ink all over my fingers now. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to open this up with a pen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, I've been, I've been stabbing the box like a fucking ape, and it exploded all over my hands. I hope you can still use this video, Mr. Konami. <laughs> I called the gimmick puppet right, dog shit. Uh, we, got another cyber, we got the same rare as two times in a row. I can't believe they let us keep that in. <laughs> Vlad, you are a saint for keeping it in. Well, you have to keep it in. Otherwise, you're going to go, why is his finger so dirty? Rigster! Thank you for seven gifties. If you didn't get one, dodge in chat. Simple as that. I've never seen vision release. Uh, Dustopia Danko Seka. Danko Seka. So long. And of course, Almiraj makes sense. It's on the dice. Uh, all right, here we go. We got Yubel. You know, I, I will I will give and them credit e where it's due. That e Yubel looks good. And E Call, and e -call in Ultra could be worse. There's actually not a super great print of E Call. There's like, I think the Yugi's World Secret. But it, it is nice that malicious. there is an accessible one because e e secret e calls so are like fifteen dollars okay. and they don't uh, look great. Yeah, no, so I'm very happy about that. I will I will take the ultra thing. e call. Well, basically lots of different era decks, um, but specifically in uh, Tierlobin. How are we uh, feeling about nice ultra, ultra Stratos Alt Art? We're feeling like we're not buying that shit. <laughs> we got Behemot, Grand Maju, Skull Knight, Gossip Shadow Common. I would Honestly, buy like a Elfin, like a plat rare. They need to make Tulpa Rocket. Tulpa Rocket. Uh, Vision, they need Vision, to make Neos, exactly Lord plat Lord rare new Jogan, art. Lambda in Stratos That's for really me specifically. Cool, and a Vanity Fiend, uh, Trinity, Sonic Trinity Stun, reference, and White Aura Whale. White. That card Judgment was like fifteen dollars. Heaven, the Synchro Monster, and Quick Launch yeah, Ultra. Done. Cool rarity for okay. Quick Launch. Dread Decimator, Specimen Infection. I've never seen Alien. Specimen Infection. I've never Warmog. seen. Oh, I have seen High Rate Draw. Uh, Nesh developed High Rate Draw as a Mystic Mine out. Rate Draw, Charge Dragon, and a Steam Synchron. Could have just been peeling these like a normal person instead of bursting a pen on my hands here. All right, we got Big Eye as a promotional card here. Makes sense. And a uh, very cool reprint for Time Wizard 2013 Dragon Ruler Mirror Matches. Or if you're trying to play some Cash Tira still, we got a Big Eye. Pack number one, we've got the Common Slumber, Vanity's Fiend, Bouncer, Stun, Galaxy Soldier, Photon Dragon, Metallic Skeleton, and... Beautiful, you bell. Ultra Rare, Looks really good. Dragon I gotta be Rare, honest. Lionheart Ultra Rare. And we have seen all of these already. We've got White Aura Dolphin, Water of Life, Increased Vion, Yeah, if this was my Slumber, box, I would just Lumina, jump. Adoration into the void, and the rest of the kaiju lineup is coming up here. We got Radeon, a security dragon. Is what? Why? Very useful. Ultra rare, nice little rarity bomb. I think it was only available in Super. I might be wrong though. Uh, security dragon and. Danny! A flying elephant for anyone trying to perform a little uh, win condition of sorts. And the rest of the reapers, we've got a common prisma is really useful. Diagram, Skullgios, Bahamut, Draconis, born from Draconis. What is this? Oh, damn. This is the uh, Ursartic Drytron Bridge card. What is this? Banish all light machines from your grave in your face of field and special level 6 or higher light machine from your hand, ignoring the summoning conditions and attack defense become equal to number of monsters banished times 500. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, Gossip Shadow and a he didn't Spiral Double anything. Helix card. Oh, this card is not a common! <laughs> That's really funny to see. Okay. 
Uh, Spyro Double Helix, nice. It just occurred to me that I missed the dice on that box, by the way. Uh, my bad. There we go. I got the Cyber Dragon one. Nice. All right, make sure I don't forget my dice this time. How we many fucking, how many does he have? That again, Big Eye, I think, right? Yeah, okay, we got my All right, is this the worst eye. box? I'll get it soon. There we go. All right, the we got Big, Big Eye dice. As, uh, Vorp dice Gate as, as your promo. The Time Lord Progenitor Vorp Gates from 5Ds as our promotional. Pack number one. All right. We've got... The Solar Recharge, Vision Release, Gustopia, Denko, Vision Fusion, Neos Knight, Witch Raider, Ninja Jogan, and Ecall, Stratos, and Gimmick Puppet, Nightmare as our <laughs> Yeah, if I opened ultras. this pack, I would jump. Commons, we have seen most of these already. Yep, there it is. Second pack of the box here. We've got a Pendulum Kagen, Lila, Harpy Conductor, the Raid Raptor, oh. the Celestia, the Kite Drake, the Fortress Falcon, and our Ultras Cyber Dragon, <laughs> Orgoth, and Sage yeah, Knight no. Blue. All right, next box here. Oh, <laughs> he's just moving on. Card is the oh, it's Dad! Of That's kind of a weird one. Was this card expensive? What is this? Oh, did we get the Wait, secret what? dice? This dice is... Huh? JD! Hey, yo. This is a special judgment dragon Secret JD dice. dice. Oh, that looks beautiful. Sorry about my fingers. Like I said, my pen burst on me trying to open this box. Uh, But, <laughs> damn. That looks so good. That's not even on the... Uh... The thing here. So there's a chance to get an Earth, uh, an Astral Language that Utopia. Was wrong. Plus one of these collectible dice. It doesn't actually say anything about that. Okay, that's that's really cool. Nice. We got ourselves a special rarity, Judgment Dragon Dice. That's really cool. Let's have a look at these packs here. We've got the... The Fennec uh, Fox guy, sure. Thunder Charger, Cactus Bouncer. And moving on through here, we've got the Security Oh, Dragon, good. There's our first the Gept. Driver, the Photon Lord. Oh, Photon Lord. That's Gepple. cool. Gepple. reprint. Uh, really nice to see for generic rank 8 strategies. And for the commons here, we've got everything we've seen already. Glorious numbers. Obviously, I haven't been tracking the numbers of each card, but we may have seen every card in the set here potentially except the ultra rare. So let's keep going here. Satellite Falcon into our ultra. First pull is a Lionheart, the Mali. That's two for me. And our Yubel. And for the rest <sighs> of the commons here is an Altergeist Manifestation. Haven't seen that one yet. And the Kyoto Waterfront. Special dice. That was our first Kyoto Neo. Waterfront. Oh, Neos Wiseman. Wait, what? I saw a tweet Where's I liked. Dice? It was like, the existence of oh, Neos Wiseman implies All right, got the, the existence one of an elemental All hero. Right, nice. Dumb God, I'm fuck. so happy about this Judgment Dragon. It looks so cool. Oh, and I just like completely skipped over the uh, promo there. We got Neos Wiseman. I actually really like Neos Wiseman. I tried to make it work a number uh, of times, but it just well, I guess it doesn't. Not a hero, but someone with, what, the new card is cool. Oh, it's Neos and Yubel. Well, okay, never mind. I, I just don't know my anime. Uh, all right, that makes sense. We've got Neos Wiseman. Pack number one. We've got that DDG reprint. And you know, in Joe Biden's America, here. they're going to force you to call it Neo Wise uh, Ultra Day. Sentencing, the Boral Step, and a I feel like we've even seen all the Ultras now. And the why is, by the way, why, why is fusing with you, Bell, turn Neos into a man? That doesn't make everyone. sense, right? And our last and final pack of Battles of Legend, Chapter 1, is... Got a Phallus, a Fortress Falcon, a Dangerous, an Apparition, a Thunder Charger, a Multiply Guy, a Living Fossil, Garroth, and here's a Stratos, Lion. God, we are just ripping these Lion Hearts. Why is Lion Heart in here? Dragonic, a Diagra. Still so hilarious to see this again, man. I love this. Uh, Cyber Emergency, Kalantos, a Black World with Utopia Lightning, and an Ancient Cloak. All right, everyone, thank you for tuning in to today's early reveal of Battles of Legend Chapter 1. This will be available soon, so check out your local game stores and support your local scene by picking up a box of this and get yourself some of these special rarity dice and promotional packs. If Lionheart didn't have a reprint. Yeah, but why is it at Ultra? Early reveals, then make sure to <laughs> he pulled hit like that six of them. Bell. Subscribe, leave a comment down below with your favorite reprint in this set. And What's I'll my favorite next reprint? Time. Adios. My favorite reprint was Water of <gasps> Life. <sighs> How did Cross Crusader not get an ultra reprint? Thank you. <laughs> Oof. Did no one else no one else jumped at this? We don't get any other opens. Surely there's like a Cyber Knight one, right? Yeah. Damn, this video did crazy good for Cyber Knight. That's unbelievable. Did you Doug opened one? This one this be the forest. Oh no, low how the mighty have fallen.
Right, what are we working with? Ooh. Today we're opening up some early boxes of Battles of Legend Chapter 1. This set releases on February 23rd everywhere, but comments on some early boxes, we're going to open those in today's video. In this set, you have reprints from sets like Battles of Legend Light's Revenge, Relentless Revenge, Heroes Revenge, and Armageddon. Some of these reprints are really exciting, like Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon, as well as number 90 Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord, and there's even the Astral Language version of Utopia in the set as well. Just like with some of the other previously released Chapter 1 type boxes, there are going to be some cards in here that have differently colored names than you're used to seeing. We'll take a look at those in a moment. Also, of course, we have the different dice that you can get. You have uh, either Stratos, DLS, the original DLS, Cyber Dragon, Salmagree, Al Mirage, or number 11 Big Eye. Our four boxes. I'm hoping we see most of the dice, but without further ado, let's jump right in. I also want to point out as I open this first box that this does have non Battles of Legend reprints as well, like the U Bell cards, which is pretty exciting because those just got support in Phantom Nightmare. Wait, the U Bell cards aren't from Battles of Legend? Not to hammer this fucking point home, but just, just make it a fucking reprint. <laughs> Don't call it Battles of Legend. For our first die, we have none other than BLS, Black Lister Soldier, the original Ritual Monster from many years ago. So each box includes your one Secret Rare, Extra Hero, Infernal Devicer in this case, and then two different packs that have, I believe, three Ultra Rares each, as well as a bunch of common reprints. So let's take a look at what this one has, and uh, we'll keep seeing what reprints we get here. We have Dark Spell, Regeneration, Elemental Hero, Chaos Neos, that's a throwback, Living Fossil, pretty good quick spell, Vision Hero, Multiply Guy, Apparition, Fusion Destiny, I'm sure a lot of players are very familiar with that one. Then we have the Star Destroying Kaiju, an Ultra Rare, our first Ultra Rare out of the box. Even, he didn't Hero. even say the name of it, because he knows that he's going to accidentally say Jizzy Cummy. Witch Raider, that's always a fun one in sealed games. Uh, Vision Fusion, Garoth, Lightsworn Warrior. And then we have Ubel Terror Incarnate, Garoth. as I believe a you are not silver fit text to rule the Ultra Rare. Like between Rare and Ultra Rare, so that is our first Ubel card. Then we also have Flying Elephant, which is a silver text uh, Ultra Rare as well. This is actually a really fun uh, alternate winning mission card, although you do have to jump through a few hoops to make it work. We also have Solar Recharge, Blackwing, Chris the Crack of Dawn. Uh, we have the Fawn, Mystical Beast of the Forest, High Rate Draw, Number S39, Utopia the Lightning, and oh, finally, I didn't even Elemental see Hero Prism. Utopia the Lightning out of Farfa. A lot of hero cards in these. You now the Hero's Revenge is definitely a big one. We have Weathering Soldier, Dino Wrestler, or a Cops, Weathering Soldier, Fossil, or a Pain. Minimum Ray, Vision Hero Trinity, Raid Raptor, Satellite Cannon, Falcon, another archetype just got support in Phantom Nightmare. We have Sage with Eyes of Blue as a regular Ultra here. Some Blue Eyes reprints. Preparation of Rights. Number 75, Bamboozling Gossip Shadow. That's pretty nice. I think that card only has two so far. We have Kalantoza, Mystical Beast of the Force. I love that little guy. Destiny Hero Malicious as a Silver Lighter Ultra Rare. We have White Aura Whale as another Silver Lightered Ultra. There's our three Ultras out of that pack. Into the Void. That's a fun card. Good draw card. Uh, Blackwing Christie, Crack of Dawn. Number 84, Pain Gainer. The Kaiju Files. Born from Draconius. And Raid Raptor, Final Fortress Falcon. All right, next box here. We have our two packs. Let's see which die we get. Oh, there's we a have fifth box. One, one. Or there's a fifth die in America. Great All Mirage. You know, my buddy, I Wait, is there a sixth secret die? Card, which is Damascus. That actually looks pretty nice. I remember this card that got a secret print from the first wow, time. That was in one of the Battles of Legends. Actually, really cool you know what? That is bad. What the fuck? Oh, this this would wrong. theoretically be really... Oh, wait. It looks like the entire body is not secret, except for the crest on the head. That's kind of cool. Of it right there, Game Seal. Obviously, being one of the best kaiju monsters just because it has the lowest amount of attack points to give your opponent. Okay, first pack out of this box, what do we have? We have Salmon Great Almirage to go with the dice, of course. Crusader of Endymion, Glorious Numbers, Cyber Altanian. That's a fun throw. That's because it's like a dark hole on a monster. We have Elder Hero Esquardio. I don't know how to pronounce it, so sorry. Black Whirlwind, Chaos Emperor the Dragon of Armageddon. There we go. Hack of a pull there. So this card is great. It uh, only has, I believe, the two prints. Well, one of them is Battle Legend Armageddon. The other one's a prize card. A little bit harder to uh, get, but uh, now we have a lot more accessible reprint here, which is great to see. Sure, people will be excited about that one. And we have Vision Hero Vion, Vision Hero Adoration, Kalantoza, the Mystical Beast of the Forest, Destiny Hero Malicious. Once again, so we have two copies of that. We have Evil Swarm Axiton Knight. Some pretty cool reprints here, actually. Oh, wow, this I'm reminds me of diagram uh, as a common. Wow, that was wild. Cyber emergency. That's a cool one. TG Gear Zombie. Phantom Knights at Fog Blade. TG Master Metal Skeleton. Saga. And finally, Elder Hero Sunrise. Wow, a lot of actually really good competitive cards in that back. Next back here. What do we have? Celestia, Lightsworn Angel, Hibernation Dragon, Weathering Soldier, Lumina, Lightsworn Summoner, Black Whirlwind, Grand Maju. <laughs> nice Grand Maju. I've definitely lost a few games to that. Uh, Judgment Dragon, which I believe is one of the dice as well. What's up Twilight with the Ninja Lightsworn? Jogan, Fossil Warrior Skull Bone. Powered Crawler, Sage with Eyes of Blues. Is that the Powered Crawler? 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 Is Powered Crawler, Sage with Eyes of Blue, so now we have two of those, pretty nice. Kumungus, the Sticky String Kaiju, not bad either, so we have a couple Kaijus already. Number 84, Pain Gainer, White Aura Dolphin, Kyoto Waterfront, pretty cool. Destiny Hero, Dangerous, Spiral Double Helix as a common. You know, seeing these like really powerful cards as commons always like throws me off. Oh, Twilight, it's for the Ninja Kagan for the last common in that pack. Okay, we got our third box here, there's the packs, where's the dice? Okay, we got, nice, Elemental Hero Stratos with the uh, Wind Attribute color there, that's pretty cool. So we have uh, our Sexy. packs, but first, let's see our promo. Ooh, we have a Time Lord, Time Lord Vorp Gate. You know, I'm actually not familiar with Time Lord Vorp Gate, but uh... This motherfucker doesn't know Vorp Gate. I think Vorp Gate is. See if I. Oh, it's not up anymore. I used to have a video up called Vorp, which was me reading out something. I'll have to read that for the first time because now we have one. Yeah. See first pack of this it. box, we have Dino Wrestler Pancratops. This was a huge deal when it got reprinted in Battles Legend. That was a really cool one. Uh, Miracle Contact, Celestia Lightsworn Angel, Extra Hero Dread Decimator, Black Whirlwind, Fossil Warrior Skull King, uh, Number 77, The Seven Sins. So we have seen a lot of the uh, pain gear. I think we pulled a couple of those. But uh, yeah, the entire spider like line is probably here. Wolf Lights
We have Weathering Soldier, Harpy Conductor, Gold Moon Coin. That's always a fun one to play that on a couple of Zodiac decks. Uh, Lumina, Lightsworn Summoner, Vision Hero, Trinity, Ren Maju once again, Sage with Eyes of Blue. I think that is actually our place out of this. We can just go and play Blue Eyes now. Phenomaly, Tespa, Rocket, Fossil Warrior, Skull Knight. Uh, sometimes played with Dogmatica Punishment as a cool Afghanistan Grave. Pop, Powered Crawler, Cyber Dragon. Very cool. I would love to see the uh, Cyber Dragon die. That'd be really nice. Uh, but uh, we have E, Emergency Call as What the fuck? As a cool. Uh, banishing grave to pop powered crawler cyber dragon very cool i would love to see the uh, cyber dragon die that'd be really nice uh, but uh, we have e emergency call as well we have the fawn mystical oh, beast of out. the forest cyber it's good man uh did you see that konami saw our roulette episode from a few weeks ago and then added flame wingman to the game oh i did not wow yeah, they. I got an email right after the episode went up that said, "Doug, you know this really inspired us. We're gonna code them in." <laughs> is is that what they, this is the one where, where I opened the two hero packs? Yeah, yeah. They said we were inspired by both of your incredible play during this game. Yeah, and also I just want to say, um, I watched that uh, the Pegasus challenge where you and Danny played the decks that you recently played against me. I thought that was hilarious. Like I was, la I was dying laughing. It was, it was great. See, the thing what with Pegasus challenge is like, I really like it, and I like filming it, and it's the type of content that I would want to watch on YouTube. Um, yeah. But I freely admit it is, it is unwatchable. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of people that are like, this is my favorite fucking thing. But, I mean, it really is unwatchable shit. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you're just... The fun part is watching you guys stumble through it. You yeah, know? yeah, And now that course, you've added yeah. Strip Yu-Gi-Oh! to the, the wheel, I think that that's really going to increase viewership. I hope so. I, you know, here... It, we actually did... I This most recent Pegasus Challenge was the highest premiere of a Pegasus Challenge ever at a whopping 7 of 10. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> So. Okay, you buried the lead a little bit. That was funny. <laughs> wow. Man, I don't even watch... I, I, you know, I've said it many times. I don't even look at those debuts. I give it at least 24 hours. Even then, I, I try to give it like two days. Like, it just... I don't know, man. All the, uh, all the discussion videos start out at uh, 10 of 10s. And then yeah. they stay there for two days. And then after two days, like on the dot, 48 hours, the algorithm hits them. And then it's like... It's just exponential growth for the next forever. It's mm, really funny. Sounds it's, like it's, sounds like you, you're a cutting a time. deal with someone. Um, yeah, I mean that's just you know sometimes I forget that that's how videos used to be when I would do like daily discussion videos. Like yeah, none of them are going to debut at huge amounts, but you just got to wait a little bit. It was crazy. Yeah. Like sometimes you'll upload like a why nobody plays or whatever, and it'll I'll, I'll come back to it and it'll be like eight hours and it'll be like fifteen k and I'll be like. Oh man, I hope Doug's doing okay. And then I'll wake up the next day and it'll be at like 400 and I'm like, "Oh yeah, he's fine." Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, no, he's I'm, doing I'm all. good. It's just No, I mean, honestly, the most pressure with discussion videos is just like, you know, while scripting, while recording, convincing myself that anyone like cares about what I'm talking about because it's like I feel like there's so much pressure on each one. I really want to make sure they're like good. Wow. As to yeah, some of us don't have time. standards, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> what? You got the Pegasus challenge. Right? That's true. <laughs> Very true. All right. Are you ready? I got this intro today. Don't forget to buy the Chaos Max Mate before it's gone. Wait, what? What are you talking about? There's a, ma there's a Master Pack bundle. You're really out of the loop today. There's a Master, there's a master Pack master bundle pack. that has a cha the Chaos Dragon in it? As yeah. a mate? Yeah. We have 57 days to buy that, chat. I mean, I think we're going <laughs> to... Don't, don't forget it. <laughs> I thought it was like going away today. I'm like, oh, no, Yeah, please! like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they've really been adding a lot of mates to this. This is becoming a dating thing. <laughs> they, they know that your boy is buying them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they've watched a roulette. Okay, ready? <clears throat> Welcome back to Master Roulette. We only have, believe it or not, 10 packs on the wheel. So that means unless Konami decides to add, I don't know, 50 secret packs in the next two months, uh, the... That's terrible. Fuck me. Um, <clears throat> all right. Nope. Wait, Welcome let me. Back if you're to, gonna do it again, let me up my one of my settings yeah. real quick. You're good. You're good. All right, go ahead. Welcome back to Master Roulette. Today we are spinning a wheel as we always do, and if you haven't noticed, we're only down to ten packs, which is a little bit scary. So five more episodes before the finale, unless Konami gives us a bunch of secret packs within the next month here. But uh, 
you have been crushing. You have won the last three in a row. It's a little bit reminiscent of uh, the Dark Ages a year and a half ago where I lost 19 in a row. But um, this is going to be the episode. This is going to be my win. So let's see what your first spin is. And if it's tuntastic, I mean, you just got to take it. Fucking, it's tuntastic. This is tuntastic. Oh, no. <laughs> Beetle troops roll out. Oh, I know you wanted this one, though. Uh, Beetle troops roll out is the B trooper pack, right? Yeah, actually, I, I think the um, the table got bumped and you're now on tuntastic. Oh, how interesting. Uh, <laughs> man, I really like insectors, too. You know what, Doug? I have enjoyed our time together so much. I, I will bequeath to you this this kindness i'll re-roll okay let's see it let's see what god of the wheel has in mind today oh come on you know <laughs> right on schedule yeah yeah You've i'll take uh, neo space comrades yeah this was this You've is i think the uh, so worst this... one still remaining right no no i think honestly i think the roid one is pretty bad toontastic isn't great stardust ties is kind of awkward now you do get two copies of neos with this so keep oh joy that in mind, so you that's will gonna solve it playable strategy yeah that's that's yeah, gonna resolve the issue the format. here's my first spin oh the sprite pack <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a close one you know what as fun as that episode might be to see i will respin Oh, okay, 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 all right. Oh, oh God, let's go! Got it again. Okay, okay, I'll take the Beetle Troops rollout. This will certainly be one of the episodes of all time. See you in the polls. <laughs> Bye. Uh, all right. Okay, good. <laughs> this... Oh, let me delete my uh, my version of the Snake Eye deck that has the fucking hazy flames in it that we did for dual taining. Yeah, it's... All right, so here's what Doug doesn't know. He pretty much knows everything. I don't think there's there's a, a really fantastic way to resolve this uh, issue. This this set is really bad. It is historically bad. And in fact, it's, it's so bad that, I mean, we might just be cooked no matter what happens. Um, we really need to pull Neo's Fusion, so I will craft it, is what I would say if it was not an ultra rare. Uh, however, there is still something we can do with our Supercraft. If we craft Neo Space Connector, then we can use it to summon uh, a copy of Elemental Hero Neos from deck. Maybe we win the game that way. Uh, I'm going to craft Cosmo Neos, however. Um, just pers Our craft is Connector, but you know, I, I already have three Connector. Okay, this is what our free pack would have been. Oh. I'm just trying thinking back to all the times I pulled Divine Neos out of the pack. It must have been like three or four times. Contact gate is important. Here we go. So, like, this is a good card, but there's just no way. Wow. It's a Joseph, I hear you, I feel you, and I will do what I can to deliver you this W. I don't think it's going to happen, but I, I appreciate it. I've never pulled this card. Wow. Okay. Uh, all bad cards. Really not even remotely good at all. Oh, come on. Actually, you know what? It might be better that it's not in pack now that I think about what is in pack. Rum Quick Chaos. Not exactly what I was looking for. Alright, in pack, in pack, in pack, in pack, in pack, in pack. We need fusion. Neospace fusion. God dang it. Cool. Torrential's big. Come on! Come on, you're kidding me! This they're just mocking me at this point. 
We might play that. Fuck it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, thank god. Oh. Or, you know, fuck me, I guess. Please. Please. Come on. Oh, okay. Something in here. I mean, it's a good card, but we really wanted, um, the fusion. Okay. Uh, all right, whatever. Don't need another one of those, please. All right, can we end on a hollow? Can we end on exactly uh, the good fusion spell? No. Oh, thank God. Morphtronic Converter. Yeah, this one, uh, this one might not go so hot. By the way, I just want to point out we pulled four Neospatians total. We pulled four copies of Aqua Neos, but four Neospatians total. We're even our common pulls are even terrible. So, um, that last one was really rough, and it was rough not only because we had really bad, uh, hollow luck, it was also bad because we didn't pull any Neospatians. No mole, four total Neospatians, um, and we need a number of them. Black Sheep's cool, actually. We'll play Black Sheep. Yeah, like, Brave Neos is fine. Like, I don't have a problem with that card, but we have no way to fusion summon him. We don't have enough Neospatians. Oh? Okay, we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh, baby. Uh, we could play that, maybe. Can we get a fucking Neospatian? Come on! No mole! I appreciate it's coming out, but like... It was lied! Lie! We don't have a U-Bell. I legitimate. I, I don't think we are going to be able to have a deck, period. Okay. That's two of them. Still, still missing Mole, by the way. You are just... No, Neospatians! Don't say it! No! <laughs> is Mole a UR? Mole is a common! No Air Hummingbird. No Pathfinder. No Mole. Three packs remain. Oh, thanks. That's what I wanted. All that shit. There's Air Hummingbird. I just want to point out, like, it's important... For us to have a critical mass of these guys for covert contact, but right now we have six of them. 
Oh, thank God. Okay, we have seven of them. Man, someday I just I don't understand why I get up and do this. This is a this is abysmal. That was wrong. pulled five Neospatians that entire set. Just want to point out real quick. We pulled four Elemental Hero Grand Mole, five total Neospatians. That's crazy, right? That's like unbelievable. We're not cheating, chat. Jaden wouldn't want it. Okay, how are we doing this? Um, <laughs> so I, the, the thing is, I don't think this gets that much better. If we cheat, I feel like it's functionally the same deck. We're so fucking cooked. What the fuck? We're so cooked! <laughs> oh, I have to craft a Dios. Oh, fuck. Okay. I don't need that shit. Can we get a royal at least? All right, I wish I was dead. Has crafted us a deck. Oh, <laughs> come on. Oh, do we have a second glow moss? Hmm. 
We have two glow moss. We are playing two glow moss. No, that was a mistype. Awesome. You could have just lied to me. Like, what would have been her? If you had said yes, would that have been too big of a problem? Okay, where's Cross Porter? Wow, yeah. Um, contact out, yeah. That was wrong. Where's our third covert? There it is. Uh, I guess we're playing three of this fucking dog ass card. We can't even Pathfinder for the fucking Neo space. God damn, man. I gotta end it. I am playing a car that he is not. What is it? The Wrath of Neos. Okay. I think the Wrath of Neos is better than 80% of these fucking cards. Turn the contact out. We're so, we're so fucked. We're fucked. It's over. We're fucked. Any tutors? I don't know, man. <sighs> Did we pull a single tuner today? If we did, I will play. Oh, we did. <laughs> He's a one-star tuner. Uh, oh, shit. The, it's, oh, we can make magma. We can make magma with Wind Witch Snowbell. Oh, and we have Laval Cottle. That was wrong. Dog, I am going to cry. I know people are saying, Joseph, why don't you do a trade offer? Joseph, why don't you do a trade offer? What do we trade for? There is not a series of cards in the pack that will improve this deck. We go, hey, Doug, trade offer. Can we get three Aqua Dolphin, three Air Hummingbird, three Grand Mole, and we will still get our ass beat. This is over, man. Holy guacamole. I don't know what you want me to say about this deck. It's Neos. It is Neos. Let them know I'm ready.
Prediction is up. Fifty two percent Joseph. Let's go. <laughs> Some of you, I think, believe a little too hard. Fifty thousand on you. <laughs> you all must know something that I don't. Or you're fucking stupid. <clears throat> Tax write off. True. time to do my favorite thing you all can check out my daily routine i like to go on my twitter followers page adam cunningham ahmed guppy jbf fiery feet lover that's someone i want in my community and here are the bots here are the bots i don't know how to stop them from following me this has been every day for the past six months uh, i spend about 15 minutes a day just um going through my follow list and blocking like 15 bots Mm -hmm. All right, this guy does fit the bill for a bot, but does have a bio, so we'll let him in. Uh, I've been wrong before. These ones with the X logo, they're, they're always bots. And more Adam Ibarra. Sorry, Adam Ibarra. Fabian Fry. Sorry, Fabian Fry. You sound like a wicked character. Saint Green. Sorry, Saint Green. Uh, Saint Steel, uh, Daryl Avery, Nolan Amir, Richard Willis, Marcel Williams, Corbin Fam. What's good, Fam? All right, cool. And that's today's. Cool. I love when that happens. And it happens every day. Terrible day. My favorite streamer just blocked me. Doug blocked you? Botting followers live. That's the worst part is I'm so afraid that someone's going to click my follower list and think that I'm botting. They're going to be like, oh, Joseph's only popular because he's botting. I'm like, I I'll <laughs> these aren't real. We are all bots. That's true. That's actually true. You are all bots to me. Sounds like an epic Reddit rant in the making. I just got to make it. Let's see what's going on in r slash master duel today. Has the podcast reached an audience outside of your fan base? It has, but not as many as we'd like. This is the highest upvoted post today on um on r slash master duel. Unban Merley, my brother in Christ. Tier can reach tier three. The deck is fucking fine. I hope this shows up next week on Meme Review because I think this will make Peeps kill himself. I think this will do it.
it's crazy because like this is not even the right meme. Oh, you know what? I'm actually looking it up and it looks like this meme has a second life as my brother in Christ. But the original meme is is he goes, I'm going to keep it real with you, chief. This is the original. <laughs> Reasons to play Snake Eyes. What? Huh? What? The dragon is cool. What? <laughs> hey. Hey. How how did it go? No trade off really came good. through. No. No, um, Doug, I, I just don't think I have much that you would want to trade. Okay. Cause I, I missed some cards. So if you if you want to throw out a trade offer before we start, you know, I'd hear you out. <laughs> no, I'm good. All right, let's let's. I'll invite you here. Um, you know, I think this is going to be a little bit more even than we thought, but we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> um, we'll see this pack, uh, is actually missing a lot of YouTubers. I'll tell you that much. It's yeah. That's, um, that's rough, buddy. So. Does the Neos pack have like the newer cards, the you know the trap and stuff? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. All right, let's jump right in. <laughs> I'm psyched to do have a with crack you. Deck in store. Um, maybe if he just like made a constructed Neos deck, and just cheated. <sighs> Doug. Okay. I'm gonna allow you to go first. Sure. Oh shit, that flame wingman. Oh, he, he jumped. Looks pretty he's, good he's, actually. He's a jumping Jehoshaphat. And you did, Jehoshaphat. you know, you got the the Neos pack too, which is like poetic. Neos is in part. Well, this is like the best it's like the best hand the deck can produce. That's nice. I'm really happy for you. Wow. Um, that is I mean, we could do stuff here. It's just like why? What could you possibly do turn one? I almost just want yeah, to Yeah, dude. This. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> and this is the worst hand. I mean, it makes plays. It's just like none of the plays fucking do anything. I don't... <sighs> There's no way I'm passing, right? What can you do? Is there... There's no way you pass? <laughs> like, maybe there's a... <laughs> but I really want to. Hold on, let me let me read this. Card Doug, I'm gonna be honest with you, I I do not think I could kill you. <laughs> well, you would never lie to me. That's true. That's true. All right, there is a draw that kills you. <laughs> it was not that. Chat. We can spin our wheels. We can you know fl flap our wings, as they say in the bee trooper land. God, you will not stop using the Dune popcorn bucket graveyard, will you? I'm I'm just listen. Oh, after after this episode, I am actually going to commit Butlerian Jihad. Technology has progressed too far. Um, yeah, this is actually like the best card in the pack, probably. Yeah, dog. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah. 
Um, yeah, yeah. Let's see what I can do. All right, that actually helps a little bit. Um, okay. I special summon primitive butterfly. Okay. I uh, normal summon scout. <laughs> yeah, King. Um, don't get too excited. Well, <laughs> oh, no, I'm excited. To You're too late. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. Um, oh my god. Holy fuck. Um effect? Yeah, whatever. What effect? Okay. Oh, maybe I shouldn't uh, need fine. to find a dark hole and we win. Oh shit, there's an executor. Target one, physical monster control, increase its level by Okay, I don't think that does anything. Um, okay, so yeah, I mean we're just gonna. I think we're just doing this, I guess. Yeah, I shouldn't have summoned the hopper. It was yeah, let's go, Pico. Okay, activate effect. Get rid of I'm abyss go actor. Ooh, actors. good. That's what I like to yeah. see. <laughs> yeah. Pico, Pico, Pico. All right, choo. let's equip Hornet. Oh. We we do have a Hornet. What back row could you have? I don't know. Let's let's pop. Contact out. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um okay. Let's try to draw into some. You should shuffle back the hornet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. Maybe I should have trade offered to kill Hornet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Let's go battle phase. You know, against any other deck, it seems like I would just fucking wipe you here, but <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I don't know. Man. This searches Grand Mole. I mean, that's crazy, actually. Does it search Grand Mole? Isn't Grand Mole like a common? Keep talking, buddy. Okay. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Um, okay. Let's, is that only on summon? Yeah. Yeah, we'll probably just, uh, use these two. Did you get, uh, did you get infinite Atlas? Am I going to have to figure out a did way to Did I get infinite, infinite Atlas? Atlas? No, no, I didn't. <laughs> I don't know how I'm beating this card. Um, okay. That's what I got. The scout buggy definitely helped this hand. Doesn't Hopper equip the pop again? Um, nope. And we have a Grand Mole. Oh, I could have. Yeah, I don't know how the insectors work. Yeah, yeah, I could have Hopper. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. Yep. This is like the last progression that you watched. <laughs> Grand Mole. Okay, oh, we have three of this guy. Uh, Good. Activate Scout. Mode. Plus one. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Yeah, yeah. This is this is. Uh, I don't think I think my deck is actually too weak to like really capitalize on anything. It's so, so funny that like any other deck. <laughs> <laughs> what you got some crazy combo in hand there? No, any other deck, and I could beat you. This deck oh. cannot. <laughs> it's impossible. No, no, no. You just gotta draw. You know. Keep talking. What What do I gotta draw? Neos Fusion. That's true. Um, I mean, I guess it's sure. Oh, man. I mean, none of this really. Oh, my God. 
like definitely you know the things that i'm doing seem good compared to what you're doing but i think you are correct in that i'm not really a comp i'm just flapping those wings you're flapping those gums yeah Okay, let's add Scary Mop. Ah! Sorry about that. I just, um, <laughs> was that a yeah. little scary? <laughs> ah! The thing about Scary Moth is that I don't think I'm ever going to run up against this restriction. <laughs> yeah, no, it's bad. I don't even think, yeah, it's not Wait, even what the fuck? to banish the... What? Why didn't you banish residence insect? What would it do? Tell me. What what does it accomplish? What do you Send think I have? Send an insect from your deck to the grave? What? And do what with it? There's Reborn no Goki it with in this Papillion? Pack. What? No, I mean, this can't even revive on this turn, so... Wait, you could formation it back? <laughs> I got. I already have the scout bugging grave. That's I don't know true. What else yeah, I, need. I don't. It's already peak. I don't. I don't really know what yeah, else we would be I doing. Mean, this is the whole like you know. It's it. It's scout bugging. I mean, it's, you're gonna fucking kill me. So what do I know? <laughs> yeah. No. I. I do have to get these off the board. I don't think you do. This is lethal already. The scout buggy can't attack. Oh. Oh God. All we have right. Eight of these guys. Let's. Uh. I guess. Oh my God. What? I did. This one doesn't get the counters. It's okay. not a twenty-five. All right. I guess he. Gets All right, here we go. Ta don't call it a comeback. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> we could have won with you this. Leave that uh, Bis actor friends in there. Why is that in there? It can make Papillon. No, I'm saying. I, why'd you leave it in there? Why'd I leave it in there? Right, Instead of what? In the graveyard. What else would I do? <gasps> Holy shit! <laughs> Wait! No! <laughs> it, it doesn't. We can't do anything with it. No, it ha he's not gonna be. <laughs> oh no! This guy is a Neos. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that was a good one. That was a good game. Game two. Ugh. Oh, yep. I got a little jazz hands. Oh, shit. Two colors. Wow, you're really pumping this up. What? Um, I got two of the little hand colors. Thing. Oh, I was grabbing on you? Yeah. Little little red and, perp little red and pink. I'm going second. All right, Doug. I know what the problem is here. The problem is yeah. that I'm not role-playing enough. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay, Jaden, launch into your plays. No, I'm gonna be. It, it kind of sucks that Jaden had to be every L, like hero guy. I'm gonna be the Neos Knight. That's gonna be my name. It's gonna be the Neos Knight. Okay. I follow the chivalric code of the elemental hero Neos. This is not bad. This hand. Yeah, is this not deck terrible. is actually. It's so. I I know I'm this sitting is like here complaining. This like the best possible hand is. I could have drawn. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's what I said last time, and then I got cooked. I don't even want to do. Yeah, that's what you said last time, and you passed. But I, you probably in the draw, the draw spell is pretty strong. Um, yeah, it, it you really helped me out there. But I play it anyway because I have to comport to the power of the Neo Spatians. Oh, dragon bite. Yeah. I will What's slay this dragon with my chivalric knight powers. Right. Right. I will um, kill this hordit. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm How doing it for you. How many do you have? It's gone. Oh my god, you're going in. And then, oh yeah, I'm really popping off. And then, once again, prepare to be scared. Ah! Okay. Wait, holy shit. Would you believe that that actually fucks up my turn? Yeah, yeah. I I'm like so. so mad. What the fuck? That legitimately um, fucks up my turn. Okay, let's go. Oh my Formation? god. Yep. Summon armor. Wait, Scary Moth doesn't see the specials before it comes out. It's not like no, no. it's not like summon no. limit. No, nope. 
Why? That would, that would be rough, actually. Okay, go ahead. Thanks. I could just draw it. Oh. Damn. Oh, I really was about to fucking win the game on the spot. I don't think I am. You just got out an 1800 guy. Oh! Yeah. Douglas, you don't understand that the Neos are special. They're my special little boys. And thus <laughs> concludes my very good turn. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. I see what we. I can't see what believe we're I'm doing here. getting fucking winded out of this game. Um. Transfer battle. Okay, I get, I mean, this is what we have to do to out that. Oh wait, we could. Um. Yeah, that's probably better. Okay, let's go normal summon. Parasect paranoid. I'm in. I'll get rid of the scary moth. You can do whatever you want. Well, it's Wind too late hairy, now. We'll You're going to kill back. the Neos. Um, yeah, you know, I had to. This is the way to get there. This is the only way. Um, yeah, let's, let's equip Hornet. Let's do it. Hornet effect. How is this Take the only way? I feel like you. this couldn't possibly be the only way. Um, it was either this or Papleon attack over it, but I think those are the only two ways. Yeah. But um, yeah, put those back. But those are, I mean, yeah, those are, you know, <laughs> Normal A. <ways>. Those are <laughs> Insect gets yeah. over it. Um, okay. Let's we are, we are really cooked Let's here. just, you know, summon Papleon. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't even matter. You could just go get Scary Moth again. Oh, four or lower. Four or lower, yeah. If only. Okay. Pack 25. Is Honest Neos in this pack? Who knows, Doug? Who fucking knows? <laughs> if he is, he wasn't on your side today. Um, there's Armor Horn. There he, yeah, Go there ahead. He is. I'm trying. Come on, we got like two draws that do it. That is not one of them. Holy shit. All right, this one might be uh, over. This might be over. Oh my gosh. That is... <laughs> Yeah. Does your deck have any playable cards in it? Who knows, Doug? Um. Right. Right. Sure. Mm -hmm. Activate. Summon. Ah! <laughs> That's what you're this gonna guy. be saying when I flip up. My torrential tribute. Time to sec, even the sec, torrential sec, sec, field. Sec, <laughs> What's the problem? That's not cool. That's not cool, man. You get to summon a B Trooper token. Calm down. That is true. Can it attack? I think it can. Okay. Uh, um. Yep. We got one more turn to draw any good card whatsoever. I am down to 5,000, so this I'm, certainly... I'm Doug, I'm trying out here. You can make Papillion again. Fucking hell. Yeah. No, this guy's pretty strong. I hear he's all um, right. Let's attack. Yeah, this is yeah. fine. He gets in there. Okay. Well, again, we have, like, I think three draws that do it now. It's like 90%. I believe in the chivalric knight of Neos. Um... That is very interesting. Okay. I think it does not do anything, though. Oh, my God. I just have to have faith in the very good chivalric fucking... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just have faith. Just have faith. Um, all right, let's activate formation. I mean, it's just like bringing back a thousand attack guy, but it actually is. Um, I guess that gets there against. It's your it's deck. working out. I gotta say. Yeah. No, that's that's pretty good. Um, let's summon Pico. Mm -hmm. You know how we go here. Um. Yeah. 
Still with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoo! We got two uh, hornets. What do we got face down here. Waking the dragon. <laughs> no. Oh. Not at all. Ah, I see. Um. Yeah. You know, I'll give you one more turn. Why not? You can I, have one. <laughs> I appreciate it. I know maybe, maybe that I must be, be I must be Neos brave <laughs> like Neos. I must be flaming like Wingman. I must I again we have like four draws that do it. Yeah, that do something, at least. Can you um yeah, I mean I'm just you know we're activating cards, we're drawing cards. Sure. 400 defense. Um, why not, you know, give him a sword, too? <laughs> For sure, yeah. Go ahead. Come on. Got like eight cards that do it. <laughs> Is that the one? It was not. These were close. These were close. Did you want to do a third game? Yeah, why not? Forget. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Let's see. Maybe this will be the one. Maybe. Oh my gosh! I just unlocked it. you. Act just from you, I have gotten all four colors. <laughs> I don't even have that on my main account yet. Oh my god. I'll go second. It's probably good that I didn't go into the sprite pack. Yeah, um, maybe not. I mean, I think pretty much any pack beats this one, so it would have been good to get it out of the way. <laughs> yeah. What's funny is that you'll see my pulls and you'll you'll laugh. You really will. Oh, I, I promise. This um, is, as wow. weird as it sounds, I don't think they were that good. Go ahead. I did pull, you know, yeah, the extra deck monsters were not You're not going to get any sympathy from me, sir. <laughs> Oh, man. Yep. That's how it goes. Um, all right. I'm going to summon Spiral Tough. Woo! Yeah. Let's call Monster. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. Whoops, summon. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now it's time to make some important decisions. Yeah, this could be anything. Dremel. Uh, oh. Yep, yep, yep. I believe I am going to get Grandma. Okay. Thousand? Mm hmm. And then, main phase two. Oh. I activate Palmerization. Sending four monsters to the grave. What? <laughs> to summon Ultra B Trooper. Oh, my God. I'll activate Resonance instead. Yeah. Um. <laughs> ah! There he is. There he is. Okay, go ahead. That's disastrous. Oh my god. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. How far do we want to go here, chat? Combos? Okay, we're always doing this. Go oh, shit. Game. Uh, yeah. Wait, can you even polymerization for any of your cards? Perhaps. See, we could do this and maybe draw even better stuff, right? That's the thing. I mean, obviously what we're meant to do is make this guy. We'll do that. We'll do that. What are we I doing? activate. I'm I want to see. Sometimes playing Neos is about being brave. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Douglas, okay. don't say brave when you actually mean. I mean, so you just had this and you never drew the polymerization? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I just had it. Right. 
Um, okay, what winner can we get today? What does this one do? Um, nothing. So I guess we'll get Resonance Insect. That's what I got. You know, this Absolute Hercules kind of sucks when you think about that they printed this like as a way to try to... I'm still pissed that this was the second wave of support. I'm going to be honest. Um, okay, okay. Neos Fusion, yeah. During your main phase one, why does it say that? Why does it say that? This is a card that's main phase one only, not main phase? Yeah, dog. Yeah, there is. Mm hmm, mm hmm. You got him. Wait, this one doesn't even do burn damage? Come on, man. I don't, I don't, no, the, the, I don't, need, to, I don't need to hear your shit right now, Doc. Oh, <laughs> boy. Yeah. Do you think... Oh, no, we can't just do... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sure. I do like all of you saying to play this card. It actually does nothing right now. Um, attack. Sure, sure. Let's hit the brave. Fool! I contact out! <gasps> for what? Wait. What do you mean, for what? For. It just. <laughs> it just puts them back? Wait for Grandma Neos. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, whoa, 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 what? 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 Oh my God! They have to be in the deck. Oh yeah, you were wondering why I didn't summon. That's what I was saying. I was like, it just puts it back. Well, I'm out of Neosis. <laughs> oh man um yeah dude i don't know i'll just click some buttons here yeah go off king he just kind of summons this guy sure nah you, you got it you got it. <laughs> yeah. through this one <laughs> this was our best episode yet i mean yeah yeah let's uh you know i'll take a look at your deck um I'll see what happened. You pulled one grand mole. Yeah. So um, what you're seeing in front of you is every Neospatian we pulled. So that would be one dolphin, one hummingbird, one grand mole, one glow moss, one well, flare Well, that was scarab. just lore accurate. That was just lore accurate. Yeah, they, they were like, oh, let's go, Jaden. Yeah. Yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. Yeah, it's that's, um that's it's unplayable. Bad. Yeah. Um not that I'm complaining because obviously the matchup was well in my favor. But oh, you think? You think? I think it was actually I, I way will closer. say I will say Dog, this deck I is did fine. not pull any centipedes, which is a rare. I the oh, only ultra annoying. I pulled was the absolute. <laughs> that's um, funny. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, this deck's kind of mid, but like... Against you know. Neos. <laughs> oh, Pacifist made it in. <laughs> yeah, all sorts of... You know, we got Pacifist, we got Jura Ghetto, we got Card Trooper. Like, yeah. no, we really didn't pull too many, too many cards. I, we played Bird of the Mighty. I thought that would really counter your seven-star monsters. Well, don't worry. that We didn't have to worry about it. <laughs> I will yeah. say, I think that um, is probably the worst remaining one on the wheel. I don't think there's a worse one. Yeah, I think even the Roid one has more win conditions than the Neo spec. Yeah. Guess we'll find out next week. See you guys then. <laughs>
Man. <laughs> Hell of an episode. That today. one was fun. That one was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. No, that's um that's really cool. Um <laughs> Doug, thanks for the time. Uh, see uh, see you next time. See you next time. Oh, um yeah. Did we have to do two at one point? Oh, I was gonna yeah, you wanna run it back? Do you have free time today or no? Uh yeah, I think today actually is a pretty good day for it. Yeah, are you are you missing any Tuesday streams coming up or no? Uh, I figured the after no. Vegas one might be a little. That iffy. one might be a little touch and go, but no. Yeah, let's let's do another one if you don't mind. Yeah, for sure. I mean, also, that whole thing was done in an hour. Yeah, so. that one was really good. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of the neos. All right, all right. Here we go. Let me share this again. Maybe if we just do another one, we won't even think about what just happened. Yeah, exactly. To us, you know. Um, okay, chat. Here's the uh, here's the if ru if roulette is so good, why isn't the roulette too? Well, here it is. That's what I'm saying. Um, do you want to? I'll take the intro. I'll take the intro. Yeah, yeah. Why not? <clears throat> Welcome back to Master Roulette, the final four episodes. Before the finale, we have eight packs on the wheel. Let's see what we get today. Uh, epic game, last episode. I think it went really well. Is this yours or mine? This is mine. Uh, okay. Fiendish Playthings, that is the Fluffle pack. Pretty strong. I am looking at the wheel, though. Is How even, is the I Fluffle is, pack still on here? This is like a we've top never spun. Three. It. It's never been spun. I will take this. I yeah, do like I bet. Fluffle. Holy guacamole! <laughs> this is All right, let's see wow. Oh great! I'm, I'm I lost in Saga to Fluffle. I get to lose in what is it? Roid Nexus. They said, <laughs> you know what? Actually, I think you can do worse than the uh, than the, the Neospatian pack. pack. All right, what's in Roid Nexus? Uh. Yeah, this is unplayable. Yeah, uh, run it back. Okay, well, let's see. <gasps> oh, okay. I, that, that is I a could, newer pack. I could go for hope sprouting in the spring breeze, and hope is going to be sprouting in this game as I spring into action and breeze through your terrible deck. See you in the polls. <laughs> Maybe, I think this is a, a fairer matchup. Yeah. I mean, well, you Surely. compare this Any, Anything one. else is fairer. So. Uh, is this a girl deck? Oh, what the fuck? This doesn't have any rares on Master Duel meta. Damn, this site rocks. Okay, here, hold up. Uh, let me buy some, some shit. <laughs> doom, doom. Verifying log information. Add funds. I am a hundred dollars. A hundred dunions. A hundred dunions. All right, here we go. What's in this pack that I can craft? Brrr, Grand Tusk Dragon. Uh, okay, so yeah, I think I think uh, I wish I was dead is is up to the the right thing. I think the craft is either Quacky Ducky or Sleepy Bear. I like Quacky Ducky. I think Quacky Ducky's fun. All right, here's what Doug doesn't know. We are deleting this deck forever. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you. See you in hell. I'm never playing a Neospatian again as long as I live. So this set's really good. Um, the Vernisylphs are really frustrating to play against in Limited. Uh, unfortunately, I already have a playset of all of them. We're going to be crafting... What are we going to be crafting? 
We're going to be crafting Beast King Barbaros, but that's not our craft. Yeah. So our craft for this one is going to be uh, Vernasilf of the Quacky Ducky. Uh, and uh, I think we even get a free pack. Yeah. New pack Pog Champ. New pack Pog Champ. A lot of fun stuff in this one. Uh, we've got the uh, Legacy Beast King Barbaros uh, support. We've got, of course, all the Vernasilfs. The G Golems are in here. The Earth Charmer stuff. Uh, some, like, free agent Earth shit that's pretty good. Um, oh, God. An Abyss Soldier is not bad either. Uh, okay. World Soul Carbon's cool. And Ausa's insane. That opened three packs, by the way. There were episodes of Saga where I didn't get five packs to open from. Hell of a free pack. All right, ten packs. What are we working with? Very little. That's okay. Um, a lot of the powerful cards in this set are at low rarity. I mean, it's it's just good to get Earth guys for the Vernus Elves, I think. Whoa, is that Fairy Archer Anglinar? What the fuck? I've never seen that. Geonator Transgender. Oh, um, Cataclysmic Crusted Calcidifa is actually really hard to play around. This is the guy that summons himself from deck, the Ass Traps. Stubborn Maneer is like the best of the G-Golems, and it's generic, so good to have. You... Uh, Daruma Dropper. This is a cool card. Wait, this card's crazy. Crystal Heart, also super cool. If all we pull is just, like, generally good Earth guys, and then, like, the G Golem Extra Deck Suite, we should be Gucci. Mm. I'd prefer to start pulling some Vernasylphs. Um, there is one. There are two Vernasylphs at low rarity, and then two at super or higher. Okay, uh, I get it. You don't have to keep... Like, at this point, it sounds like the game is just calling me a slur. Speaking of, there's one of the Vernasylphs, uh, the Funny Bunny, and Tackle Crusader. Is that Nutbuster Dragon? Oh my god, this card's insane. It's our first uh, Chusinoko. I mean, these pulls have been fine, but we really aren't getting the amount of Vernasylphs we want. Like, as long as we can pull playsets of all the Vernasylphs, I think we can't lose. But so far, yeah, we've only got one Thawing Mountains and one Funny Bunny. And, of course, one Quacky Ducky. We're, like, seven behind where we want to be. Oh, whoa. Ugh. Uh, that's our first Rock Hammer, too. That's scary. That was legitimately a zero UR10. Okay. At least it was the first one.
Okay, uh, running this back, uh, there's a lot that we still need to pull. High rarity G Golem stuff would be good. But, you know, while this looks kind of frightening, I am pretty happy to see very few uh, shiny packs. I really just need low rarity Verna Sylphs. Like, that's the number. Oh, come on! Uh, good, that's good. Uh, flowering Fields, uh, we also good to pick up Familiar Possessed Ausa so we can play our Ass Traps. Uh, second Calcidifa is good. Second Rock Hammer is super important. Looking for Vernisylphs and Vera. There's a Vernisylph. There is King Beast Barbaros. This card's cool. Oh, this guy's in our pack. That's our playset. That's way more than our playset. Okay, we can stop doing low rarity stuff now. I need Vera. It's our third Calcidifa, our second Chusy Noko. Vera! Oh, it's coming out. Oh, that could be it. That could be Vera. Caduceus. Skadoucious. All right, here we go. Vera. Vera, 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 Vera! Oh! That's a really good card. I can't be mad about that. Eh. Binary! Oh my god. Oh shit, that's an insane card for limited. That's our second King Beast Barbaros. Uh, okay. That's our playset of both of the low rarity Verna Sylphs, and it gets us another changing season, but like it is, it does feel like it's going to come down to if we get Vera in this pack. Please. Oh no. We need a trade deal. What could we offer him? The trade deal is we need Vera. He's never going to give us Vera. It's a UR. And we can't give Doug a UR, dude. Every UR in this set wins him the game on the spot. Kraken, Tiger. We can't give him a UR. We got to run it like this. We don't have an option. You can search your UR, he can't. His UR is in the extra deck. <laughs> let's yeah, let's build and see what we have.
We got stuff. We got stuff. This card's kind of cool. Ooh, this card's crazy. I mean, this deck looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I think it looks all right. Not sure what the rock hammers are doing. We're summoning a whole bunch of fucking tokens, right? And then we make stubborn Manier Crystal Heart. So the stuff that we're not playing, that we could be playing, is the Ass Trap, the Familiar Possessed Ausa, and the uh, Nefarious Archfiend Eater. Is this stuff better, do you think? Is there any way for you to summon Chusi Noko on his turn? I don't think so. We don't have enough consistent spellcasters. That's what I'm thinking. I'm feeling like it's not very good. Oh, Earthart could summon it? Yeah, Earthart can summon the Chusi Noko. Okay. Extra deck Ausa is a consistent spellcaster. Yeah, but then we're three for wanting ourselves for a 2,000 attack vanilla. Well, it's not really a vanilla. Yeah, I can play... We can cut one of these uh, Earth Arts and play the, um, the Mandragora. Mandragora seems okay. Uh, or not. It can't make anything. Uh, it's just free material for Ausa. Okay, 
Okay, let me make sure we have all this. Or you know what? What if I don't? So here's the list. Uh, clearly what we're missing here is Vera. Um, but that doesn't mean we don't have any win condition. Uh, Grand Tusk Dragon, despite the fact that we all made fun of that guy online for making fun. Wait, let me redo this. So the list is... Uh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Let me do this again. Uh, the list is fine. The list is okay. It's... There's stuff that's missing, certainly. We're supposed to have Vera in here, clearly. But that doesn't mean we're without a win condition. Uh, Nutbuster Dragon here, uh, if Special Summon can target two cards on the field and destroy them, and then it gets very large. And we can, of course, Special Summon it with the effects of our Vernus Sylph monsters. Um, we've got, like, access to uh, Spiritual Earth Art to get the Chusinoko out on Doug's turn. Uh, Cataclysmic Crusted Calcifer is kind of difficult to get over. Uh, King Beast Barbaros almost works. And we've got some okay generics, too, like Gingerbread House, Spiritual Swords of Revealing Light. I'm feeling okay. The only thing that's kind of giving me pause is that Doug's deck is crazy. It's one of the... It's the best deck remaining on the wheel, so... So like an earth protector there is what's like the earthiest one? Oh, forest actually uh and then let's do pumpkin and thundercloud and the vernus elves that we have and then what oh varus leaves that's a good one actually And then what do we want to do for our mate? Maui. Maui is a good one. This is a clear Maui game. All right, everyone go bother Doug. Let's go to Doug's chat and yell at him. <laughs> Doug, you fucking bitch. Gamba, okay. Holy shit, 16 ads. We should do even more ads. Hey, yo. Hey. This one go a little better for you? Well, it couldn't have gone worse. <laughs> cool. Another banger episode coming. This one, this one I think will we'll at least be, we'll do things. You know, that's... Yeah, no. You know, you can just cheat, you know, if things go really bad. Doug, I will never violate the sanctity the the of sanctity. Master Roulette. I would not. Have yeah. you been cheating? No. Good. No. This is an. This is. Im it's so important that we respect what the, the sanctity. When did they do the the Moai? Um, pet there I, oh you don't have the maui before. pet uh, well you know some of us are uh, a little more in tune with the earth than others let's say yeah yeah 
Wow. Are you making me go first? Yeah. Well, shit. Uh, this hand is quite good if you do not make me go first. <laughs> hmm. I don't even know, really know what's in your pack. So, like, I know... I mean, I feel like you are just going to kill me. In there. Let's summon anti-Italian. What are you sure. holding for, Doug? Nothing. Don't worry. Doug, about did it. you open Scythe, Doug? No, 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 no. I opened Shifter. Okay, let's activate Scythe. What the? Um. <laughs> okay, let's use that. I think we just use this one. Um. Let's go. Cool effect. And I should have set this card. King effect um yeah i mean cruel bill's pretty good this was my craft i i figured it was like this was your craft cards. what if you didn't pull edge imp scythe oh it's still pretty good yeah um no every uh oh right will my italian be surviving yeah no i'm gonna pop the back row oh come on man uh Ugh. Spiritual <laughs> Earth Fuck. Douglas, you may be under the impression that you have cooked me by making this play, but all you've really done is set the foundation upon which I will build my house. <gasps> my is this gingerbread house. No, it is not. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, well. Woo, time to activate. Oh my, your your monster is looking very beefy here today. I hope it won't uh, fall into the basement. I don't think there's anything I can say about this. <laughs> oh, so many powerful <laughs> monsters lost to time. Oh, sh activate are, dog. We're gonna die. Oh my god. <laughs> we're gonna die. Wings. This is how oh, it happens. Boo. Let's go, bear. Boo. Man, couldn't you have not pulled some of these commons? I actually did only pull one toy vendor, so well, I was a little. Okay, it that was makes in me the 18th pack, I think. So that hey, was a little. Buddy, scary. I could actually. Ooh, nice fright for fusion. I could um, I could do you a trade offer right now if you would like a second toy vendor. All you gotta let me do is craft a UR. We'll think about it. I'll think about it. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll draw another card. I love that it's like, do you do you want to draw another card? Do you want to get a plus four? Do you really want to? Like, yeah, yeah, you know. Um, you know what the fluffles remind me of? What? Did you ever uh, see the advertisement on your television screen for a Jamster ringtone called Psycho Teddy? No. Not familiar. Crush cards, roll the clip. Some of the elder millennials <laughs> in the audience will be familiar with this. You all you all remember Jamster ringtones. It's where uh where uh what's his name? Skin crazy frog. frog came from. There was one called Psycho Teddy. They tried to they tried to do a crazy frog with him. Did it did it go well? <laughs> it did not. Oh like, shit, okay, fair. They would go um, like they, you'd pick up your really phone and it'd be like Maybe I'm Psycho Teddy. No, that was absolutely not the ad, but it's probably fine. Um, let's go this. Let's go this. Um, let's just summon Tiger. Why not? Uh, great. Okay, we have the UR. That's fine. See, this is the thing is, uh, chat <laughs> wanted me to try and, and go band for band with you. You are out of your fucking mind. Did you just blow up my anti-Italian? Yeah, you know, you <laughs> oh. if you're going to draw... You're going to draw. I think I'm going to um, die. Okay. And then let's go factory. No, chat wanted me to trade a UR for a UR. And I was like, I can't do that. If he gets a tiger, we die. <laughs> yeah. There's no way you can do that. But no, we're, maybe wow. We're just dead here, you huh? you can cheat. We're just going to get um, in between the rounds. Um, well, I just want to let you know, chat. This UR wouldn't have helped here. We would we would be D-E-A-D. -E is this... Wait, what is this card's material? Two fusion monster. Let's carry someone through. Come with red battle card effects. Um, Actually, kind of. Do, do you have a chain in hand? Is that what's going on? 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's just oh, summon Sabretooth. I mean, that's disastrous, but <laughs> it's not. I don't know what to tell you, man. This pack, like, actually, bad, really actually. likes me. It, um, you know, I was telling chat that I played this pack when new challengers came out, and it was just Fright for Bear, regular Bear. I mean, it was just all the fucking garbage, right? We played it in Jank. It, so, it's so bad. Oh, God. Yeah. There's no way. You just got to add back Fright for Fusion. Yeah. Oh, well, um, um, wait, why didn't you fight for fusion? Wait, how do you have... Oh, oh I'm not dead. I am dead. dead. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, game two? Yeah. <laughs> how did you have 85? <laughs> um, well... Are well, you, that was you just about a constructed a quality uh, open from you, Doug. So I'm going to let you go first, and uh, we will see what your Fluffle deck can do uh, going first without all of the powerful extra deck monsters that make this deck tick in advanced. Yeah, you know, I am not Skyhawk, so I don't know the Wombo combo. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Back to a bear. Yeah. That's cool. That that, be that's happened twice now. If you pitch yeah. wings, I'm going to be mad. No, no, no. Okay. Ah! Oh! <laughs> um, does this even do anything, though? Not really. All right, man, go ahead. All right. Well, shit, this isn't very good against... um. Nothing? Oh, that's interesting. How do we want to do this? All right, so we're going to activate um, Vernisilf of the Thawing yep, yep. Mountains. We are going to discard King Beast Barbaros. Draw a card. Wow. And oh, we will I special... forgot the Barbaros cards are in this pack. They yeah, are. Yeah. We will special King Beast Barbaros. We will also summon Anti-Italian Sentiment. Um, this is a cool turn. And it looks like he either toggled off or doesn't have sight this game. No, no, you're good, man. And then we can go one, two. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You thought we didn't have plays? You're on your mind. Whoa. Three back. I do know about one of the trap. Oh, fuck. That sucks. Okay. Um, here we go. Toy Vendor. Yeah, we run it. Come on, Still Toy Vendor. no wings. I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm going to cry. Wait, that's not a fluffle. Yes. Okay. But that does give you the uh, protection, right? Means you can't get destroyed once. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not Ooh. looking so hot. Not looking no, so hot. No, it this is time. not. And during the end phase, we will activate Vernisilf and the Changing Season to target the Thawing oh, Glaciers. Oh, to bring it back from Grave. Not bad. Not bad. You know, the Asa, I, I believe that's in the pack, um, is actually a pretty good counter to Fluffle because I do have a lot. I mean, all Earths, basically, except for the Edgems. You know what else is a pretty good counter to Fluffle, Doug? You're, you're going to love this one. I'm talking about the card I'm about it. to discard. Nut Buster Dragon! This is in that. I guess it's an Earth monster. Nut sure. Buster Dragon is in the pack. And I think that is... Wait, it's actually such a big revive. This is like the only situation where this card's... I've... I've pulled this card in a couple sagas, and I really... Do you want to pop Toy Vendor? No, I'm good, actually. Okay, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. Welp. All right. See, I'm telling you... That this, can happen. This pack is pretty strong, but it does kind of have to win the coin flip here. Because <laughs> I can get OTK'd. Yeah, no, I just threw off Fluffles, so it happens. Yeah, well, I need that to happen again. <laughs> What is this fucking episode? <laughs> this is going to be... Well, you know, like the last episode, it is very fast. But unlike the last episode, I, you know, I think it will actually be watchable. Yeah. No, people love Neo, so I'm sure they'll be really excited. Oh, I'm going to... I, I mean, they can see what the last packs on the wheel are. Yeah. You know, so. We filmed these on the same they day, so that's... um, I don't know. I'm sure I, like, misplayed with Neos, and I'm going to get... <laughs> roasted for it. Wow, this is actually yeah, from all really the Neos hard one. players out there. <laughs> wow, this is quite difficult, actually. This hand's legitimately incredible, but 
I really don't know what I want to do with it. Okay, so this one is that that's like terrible. It's fine. See, um, Thar J one, that's fair, but also doesn't exactly do what I want. You know, I think it actually might be this. Yeah, I legitimately think it might be this. That's an amazing animation. No, it doesn't, Rythul, because of the second effect. I mean, he only killed us the first game. Like, I feel like the second game, that hand, even if he went first, or even if he went second, wouldn't have killed us because he wasn't able to do anything on the crackback. So we have to just decide, is it likely Doug opened the OTK or not? And I am pretty sure he didn't. I think we're good. Wow. Okay, we're playing with fire today. You you got to play oh, to win, God. baby. This almost was another all fluffle hand. Ugh. Dog off the top. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I mean, not necessarily like crazy, though. Actually, I lied. Uh, let's go Adjum Sabers. <laughs> just, just, just lying. Just lying. Simply lying. Yeah. How does this card work? Oh, no. I guess we'll do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, shit. Let's. Polly. Oh, he has sabers already. Um, I just added that. I just added that. Mm -hmm. Let's use. No, that's fine. Oh my God. Saber we cap. Polly back. Um, yeah, I mean this is just kind of tier limits when you really squint. We're not dead. Um, not another card. No, no, I'm sure you're not dead. You made a, a masterful gambit, sir. Doug, would it surprise you to know I actually was gambling with house money? Or we got face down. You've <gasps> popped my no! sacred swords of revealing light. Oh, please keep extending, Doug. I'm sure if you put enough damage on board, I won't be able to come back. Okay. Um. Hmm. Uh. Ooh, but Doug, if you don't put enough damage on board, I might not even activate Sacred Sword, and I'd get a third turn. Oh, don't even have that. say that. Don't even oh, bring Oh, so you've got to put enough damage so that I'll activate it, but not so much that you'll get killed if I wipe your field with my full hand. <laughs> oh, Doug, it sounds, like actually, it sounds like you're yeah. the one who now has to wager. Uh, um, wow, this kind of sucks. Not gonna lie, not really happy about it. Let's go sheep, mm -hmm. sheep effect. Damn, that's like really annoying. Yeah, no, sheep's pretty good. Maybe I should have played more of it. <laughs> it's just like only good with it ex exactly yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Time to reveal my ultimate. Oh, wait. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Okay. Not time to reveal my ultimate. <laughs> let's, let's, this sucks, man. Yeah, this go, is go, actually go. really rough. <laughs> what? You don't want to. No, sucks? I'm good. I'm good, dog. Okay. okay. I'm going to use these two monsters. No. What do you think I'm summoning here? Take a guess. Cross sheep? I don't know. Oh no. What the fuck? What the fuck <laughs> fairy monster does he have? Which one of these assholes? I don't even know if this is wings. You wings? opened wings and you went dog and not bear? There's no way. What do you mean? I didn't open wings. Where are you seeing a wings? Well, I mean, I... Oh, they're all fairies. Oh. Okay, all right. Well, I, I just don't think I'm going to be able to resolve any spell traps this turn. 
All right, we'll activate Vernaself of the Quacky Ducky, and we are going to yeah, pitch uh, King Beast Barbarass. Oh, boy. This <clears throat> attack everything, right? Who do we That's want here? Mm -hmm. I guess we want this guy, right? It's got to be this guy. Is there a this is the bonus guess? effect of the duck? Um, oh, it adds. Fuck. You know, the Vernaselfs are like crazy. Like, if you read these cards, I mean, they are just yeah, they're like ridiculous. Like, I don't know what's been holding them back. I guess just like no link one that says add the fields or, <laughs> you know, I don't know. But they're really good. I think they're cool cards. I, like I wish they lot. have some more play. I guess minus ones are like kind of hard in modern Yu-Gi-Oh against like. Uh, it, ha it has a lot to do with um. Just pot pot being an insane format. So we can king beast to wipe the field. Will that do anything for us? I feel like no. Um. Hmm. So we we know his hand, right? We know it for the most part. It's polymerization. You know, polymerization dog. Dog. God, that's like the two that's scariest it. things it could be. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little. Is there any way we can just kill him here? He's at eight. This is 24. No, I don't think so. so they were we playable can, when Black Dragon was legal? I don't think this Black Dragon was legal card, make at the same him? time. Is there any scenario in which we want to do that? Yes, I think there is. Yes, let's do that. Okay, Master we're going to draw a card. Ooh, okay. Yep. We're going to pitch Tackle Crusader. Oh, oh shit. Wow. Battle Pack 3 staple. That's a great one, actually. That is a really good one. Because we haven't drawn. Let's think here. Is there anything we want to do with that? We could go Stubborn Manier. Can be normal set. And we can grab Tackle Crusader. Negate its effects, though, and banish it when it leaves the field. That's not good. Um, I mean, we could make her. Does she do anything? Oh, she may even. Um, does that accomplish? They're cooking over there. Or we could make him. And does he do a goddamn thing? He doesn't. And also doesn't <laughs> kill Doug. It gets pretty close though. It's really close. I think in every scenario we are. Or the alternative is we hold this and we keep it for this. I think I might just be chilling, cause. Wait, maybe I could have killed you last <laughs> turn. If I heralded before the. Hmm. Now that I'm looking at this, I think I could have killed you. That's crazy. I didn't even. Oh, I didn't even consider that. Hmm. It's more damage if we just go in, right? It's 24 plus 3 is 54. God, we are really close to fucking annihilating this guy. But I think we are not close enough. Homie draw? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You're good. You're good. Not even the Herald with Dog effect? Sheep. Just it still is. doing the play that I did. But then this effect. Activate this. This effect. Yeah, that was lethal. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Fucked up. Okay, so this is... I wasn't even considering that this card could be summoned with the... This can only for... target a Verna Self chat. So it would be... These two for this. Then normal him. We haven't normaled. That's... God, we're so close. I have to do math, sorry. Oh, you're good. Calculate away. Three, uh, 20... I need to keep a fairy. 400 in plus... Oh, right. Yeah, no, oh, you're right. You're right. I think we, we have, have it. These four. Yeah, we have it, right? So we wouldn't. Do these only summon in defense or something? Yeah. No way you have an OTK. So we go this one. Summon back him. That's right. I mean. And then this one, normal, and then target himself. 
What is... Oh, that does fuck something up, though, because then... Oh, then Crusader goes down by just a little bit. Fuck. The fact that this guy has an effect might cost us. Or we can just summon this one. Okay, so we can pitch this one. Summon itself. Add back Thawing Glaciers. Glaciers double itself. Okay, so and now let's run the numbers. So it's 24 Crunch the numbers. plus 15 plus 15 plus 22 plus. There's no episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime where the villain wonders if they messed up while the protagonist thinks through a combo for five minutes. You know, there, That's exact. there's always time for that. Can you believe that? It is no literal way. exact lethal. That is shocking. Oh no, because we're no, because we're summoning back this. It's two hundred over, but it's still it's still crazy. All right. Um, and then let me just check this real quick. Chat. I don't know. We're gonna I try think it. with the the stack that the sabers requires. Hmm. All no, right. I definitely didn't even consider. We're gonna activate uh, Vernasilf of the like Flowering here. Fields, Funny Bunny. We're gonna pitch yep. this card to add okay. back Vernasilf of the Thawing Glaciers. And then we are going to special summon the funny bunny. Haha. -ha. Next, we're going to normal summon thawing glaciers. We're going to activate mm -hmm. its effect, targeting itself. And let's oh. go to combat. That's fucked up, man. It's a little fucked up, but uh, what are you going to do about it, asshole? Six. 15. Oh, it is just barely. 15. Yeah. 11. Okay. I cannot That's believe we made it out of this. No. Oh. I didn't think about the. No, no, I can't, I can't bitch about that. I can't bitch about that. GG's, man. That was crazy. GG's. What the hell? That was crazy. Damn, dude. Back to back hands of like. No, no, I can't explain. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I definitely had. um. Yeah, lethal, but it was like. A pretty weird line that I did. So it was like make realize. the link prior like, to. It was it was make the link with sheep and dog, and then like Holly, and then I had fright for fusion enhance. So I could have made wolf with like five hundred material, but I was just so so tunneled on. Like I completely forgot about the mirage light. I'm gonna be honest. But yeah. Then when it said I could summon it, anyway. Mold, 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 mold. I'm not only really molding. Just... Wait, your deck's insane. It's... <laughs> this is the craziest deck I've ever seen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three... <laughs> it's it's pretty crazy. It's pretty okay, crazy. wait, wait. Is not is crazy. Scythe a super? No, no, no. It's like oh, it's a rare. rare. Okay. Um, is is no the super poles were you know three patchwork, three patchwork, two fusion, <laughs> um, two oh wolf, God. two tiger. Saber, Daredevil, Ooh. Cruel Whale. I mean, we pulled like every fusion. It, wow, you literally really pulled missing... every UR. In, and you pulled the fucking terrible SRs too. Yeah, I think I only missed uh, Kraken, but realistically, I can't complain about that too much. Um, I, well, sort of. I mean, Kraken is a turn one play that I can't get over. Like, I think it's. Yeah. I think it would have been kind of. No, I think the problem was just. Yeah, it's just like game two was unwinnable, and then game three, you know, make a yeah. pretty important misplay. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see what you got. Uh, you so my I deck mean, it's... is legitimately the deck from Five uh, Ds that's been made via cards that were found in the trash can. Like we're playing. <laughs> no, it's not. Do not. Uh, no, this actually looks pretty strong. All right. Okay. I, I Walk think. me through. What are the great cards in this deck? Activate Vernaself. Uh, well, discard the little that little snaky boy, and then special summon him. I think he flips everything face down. Right. Uh, Yes, he does. Yeah. Well, he flips all special nice. summon guys down. Yeah. So it's got him. We got we got some Vernaselfs and <laughs> we got just the low rarities. Our craft was quacky ducky, and then um like a bunch of cards that maybe would like do something with the Vernaself. We had Tackle Crusader. The Ch we only got one Tackle Crusader. The Chusinoko. No, this, this looks pretty bad. I'll, yeah, I'll say it looks pretty. Bad. I did. I did like Thrawn the disciplined angel came up. We were like, oh shit. We're playing the um the anti Italian for the G Golem Rock Hammer synergy. <laughs> it was it was rough, rough stuff. But it's a Cypress. Uh, yeah, it's a Cypress. 
No, I think that as soon as that swords hit the graveyard, my brain immediately went off. I was like, I can't OTK now. So yeah, it was I just a, it was a psychic it, blow but more than anything else. Sci- emotional damage. E- um, as, as the replay guys, channels would say. Yeah. <laughs> see you guys next week for the third to last episode. Peace out. Okay. Ugh, for okay, two of these it, I mean, if you are back on Tuesday after Vegas, we can still record one. But if not, no worries. Now. I should be. Um, I thought we were doing it because uh, you had some like issues in terms of alleged. No, I'll be back next Tuesday. You'll be back next Tuesday. Back next okay, so it's so we have three left. It's the twentieth, the twenty seventh, and the fifth. And then we do the finale. Yeah. Yeah. Damn crazy two years two years <laughs> it is crazy to think i've enjoyed our time together doug yeah no it'll be i think the finale will be really fun i think that i got some cool ideas for season two i think it'll be a good time but i'm really excited i think it'll be the culminate i really want crush cards to do like an intro where it's like the wheel is spinning but it starts at like 160 and then like kind of slowly becomes smaller as it spins i think that'd be kind of cool because like Two years, man. Two years. It's it's but wild. Anyway, I'm gonna hop off. Yeah, yeah. See, See ya. ya. GGs, GGs. Bye. It's also weird. I'm pretty sure that that this entire series was uh, dreamed up as a way for me to have to spend money. Like Doug is a deep cover Konami agent who's like that. Joseph, he's not spending enough money. Let's put him in a series where he has to spend money. <laughs> what a nice young man. I've bought every secret pack of the game, right? Like I don't. <laughs> Man, that second one was so fucking fun. Ugh. I would have had fun even if we lost, I think. Um, this deck was so bad. Holy shit. Barbaros. I'm feeling good about Barbaros. That's a big guy. Game one and game three were insane. They were just like unbelievable fucking windmill slams. It's so funny that like sometimes roulette is we both set one card and pass five turns in a row and sometimes um whoever goes second automatically otk (laughs) oh man all right well that's gonna be it for me thank you all for sticking around this was a lot of fun um i am gonna be back uh wednesday 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 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I think. I know it's a 7 on the thing. I like to start at 6, but the problem is I, I really just have so much to do on Wednesday, and we're filming uh, Watsy from, like, 5 to 6. So maybe, like, maybe like 6.30 I'll be around. Um, I do want to say real quick, if you want a little more MBT action, I know you all are hankering for a spankerin'. Uh, I am going to be um, on Danny's channel tonight after meme review. We're recording Pegasus. Uh, and then I am also going to be... Um, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. On... Oh, God. I can't believe this is the name of their podcast. It's called, like, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Podcast. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Show Podcast. Um, I'm going to be on that uh, sometime in the next week. Uh, I'm I'm coming on tonight as an emissary of Will of the Council. Um, so it you know that's that's that. Uh, other than that, I will see you Wednesday. We're gonna be doing the huge uh, reacting to last week's saga. Um, we're gonna be uh, playing a little of the uh, the new uh, event. Uh, no Sam. Uh, Sam just got back this week, but it's Valentine's Day, so uh, he's gonna spend it with people he loves. I'm not. Um, after you've been together for like 12 years, you know, you get together when you can. And then, uh, we're of course also going to be filming a Twitter thread and playing Ace Attorney. Hopefully we'll be finishing up Case 2. I can't believe how long Case 2 is. It's been like a month of us playing Case 2. All right. Bye-bye. I don't hate my wife. I love my wife, but I love her on my own time. And we're both very busy individuals. Let me throw you.